I survived 100 days on a toilet. <laughs> Where my goals are to get diamond enchanted everything, create my own villagers, and defeat the ender dragon. Now to start our journey. Are we on a floating banana? So first off, there's a sign that says to read this. But when have I ever done that? I'm sure I'm not gonna need to know any of this whatsoever. And thank you creator, I know I'm the limit. So I have a sneaking suspicion there could be something underneath all the carpet in here. And of course there's not, so uh. But now it's time to go and drop the kids off at the pool. Hey look, I'm a floater. <laughs> <laughs> so little Tommy left his boat in here. However, I think it's best if we just explore the toilet first, and then we'll go and start mining and creating bases. So depending on how you count it, you could say that there's like eight islands around us. Like we got the flaming lactose intolerant toilet paper, the flying World War II tank, the nether portal toilet, and a whole lot more scattered around the entire toilet. Very obviously, we're gonna go and get to them all because we have quests right here. And honestly, we're gonna do them all. Just like number one, find Elytra and use it along with fireworks to fly. Wow, we're already gonna get overpowered. And I'm completely for that. And would you look at that? The game creator is so kind. He's helping me out. Is what I would have said if I was a loser. But I'm keeping the cookies. So very clearly, before I even jump down from the toilet, we should go around and get prepared and make all the wooden tools. Ah, perfect. And now we just hide until morning. <laughs> ah, well, I hear the bird chirping, so I'm hoping that it's finally daytime. And would you look at that? It's finally daytime. And of course, there goes my axe. <laughs> Ooh, some free redstone. I'm sure that's not blood. Okay, so with every single tree gone from here, I noticed something while chopping them all down. And there's this random little hole. Sure, no, nah, I'm, I'm sure that's nothing. There's probably nothing to be worried about. I'm sure they're friendly. Hello? Uh, am I safe? Ooh, cookie. Now, as much as I would love to explore this place, I'm totally good. Will this kill me if I jump from here? Let's see. Okay, good. You know, I, I didn't need that half of my health. So we'll explore the tank in a little bit, but um, as you can tell, I I'm kind of in a hunger issue right now. I don't have any food. Oh, wow. Hi. Okay, don't ever fall in there. But I do have some sheep. Okay, we need one more. Please, I really want a bed. Oh, no. Is there another dark gray sheep? Oh, boy. It's so very obvious. We need to make a base. And to help us do that, we actually need to start mining through this, get down into the stone, mine up some of this beautiful stuff. We should be good with 38. And I think right here is probably our safest bet at a nice house that should be safe. I hear so many things that want to kill me. Mere birches is what you're good for. <laughs> yes, sustenance, thank you. Oh God, that didn't even heal me. I need wool, I need wool. Oh, I want to make a bed. Oh, oh, I don't want to be out here. We're doing the hiding strat again, I don't care. <laughs> I need to be very careful with my resources. If you're enjoying the movie so far and like to see more from him, it'd mean a lot to me if you'd subscribe. Also, 40,000 likes and all uploads surviving 200 days on a toilet. Which, if you'd like some sneak peeks at future content, you should go follow my Twitter. Well, the sheep seem happy and I don't hear any more baddies, so am I free? Okay, oh, I oh, no, 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 zombie coming, zombie coming, zombie coming. No, 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 okay, okay, I can't. Ooh, please, please go, please, please, please. I don't have any knockback, okay. Just you wait. Oh, I'm going to actually here. Uh, do you want to come up so you can actually be safe and not fall off the edge? Yeah, there you go. I'm proud of you. So it was really stupid of me to make all of my tools wooden first, but um, yeah. So now if I actually run back into here, my safe. Oh my Jesus God. Oh, oh my God. That made me jump so hard. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> Uh, maybe there's iron this way. I am not going back into the tank. Oh my god. Wow, okay. It's daytime. Can you chill? So we're gonna be smart for this part. We're just gonna mine out the stone and we're gonna be going around the bowl that's filled with a lot of poo-poo. And we're on the hunt for some iron. That's not gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> Look at them all. There's so many creepers. There's just creepers and creepers and jeepers creepers. Oh, I'm good. Uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. So the only food I have right now is rotten flesh. So I need to be safe with what I actually do on this toilet. <laughs> and I need to be very careful with the animals that I kill. So a safe thing to do is to get yourself a hoe. And then we can actually just start a farm. Because at least in the beginning, we're going to be using a lot of bread. And then because of my heart attack from earlier, I can hopefully
Hopefully get one. And there we go. Wow, this is not pathetic and totally not going to take forever. So instead of going through the scary side, I do have a few ladders and uh, we can go back this direction that we kind of came from. Because ultimately, if I can just climb up and then get back into the farm. Oh my God, I hear more skeletons. Please, no, please, please. I just, I just want this iron, please. Please don't hurt me. Okay, we got five. That's enough for some shears and a bucket, two of which I actually really need right now. And then we just smelt the iron. We then make some shears. We then shear the sheep. Oh yes, oh my. Oh my god that was three and then finally we make a bed we then dye it blue and ah finally ah i can finally go to sleep so now with the iron finally done we actually really need to get into making some torches for very obvious reasons and this should be good enough to start off with because next up we really need to get upgraded hello uh butt heads are you here uh, i'm liking this so far uh so far absolutely nothing in here so that makes me happy i found the only enemy in here and they gave me a heart attack okay well regardless we have some coal right here so we definitely need some of this i'll also take the copper because i want to test something out if i can get a witch which would be good <laughs> Oh, well, hello. I was interested by the staircase, so, uh... That, oh, no! I mean, kind of cool. Uh, I don't think it has the effect that you were thinking of, though. Hey, look, it has the effect you were thinking of. And that's why we make the bucket. Yep. Ah, let's go. I'm too good at this. You can never kill me. Okay, so now, if we try that again... Oh, wait, was it... Oh, I see. Ah, very smart. Okay, now, as I was doing... Not that bad of a find. Not too bad, I think we have enough to at least kind of start so the first thing that we should actually focus on because i did get the five bones from a chest in there is to get a lot of wheat <laughs> of which we got lucky and uh yeah we got nine now so with some of the wood that we have we should actually make some fences then if we clear up the area right here and then we make a nice big open area because we'll actually be kind to the animals for once <laughs> Wow, would you look at how beautiful that is. I would love to be trapped in there forever. <laughs> so luckily for the horses, I don't have any carrots. And I guess the same can be said for the pigs. And I guess, oh, I didn't mean to click. Oh, that was a misclick. Hi, buddy. Hi, would you like to come over here to safety? So we'll take the sheep and then we can breed those and we can have at least one food source. Plus, I could probably make some cool designs out of their wool. But the animal that I really want is going to be the cows. And I'm really hoping that I'll be able to find another. Don't worry, I'll make a second pen for for you later wow oh my god oh what there is no way i am ever going to go down there <laughs> there's so many enemies oh this is gonna be so much fun oh boy luckily i don't need to go down there just yet because i really want to find a second cow oh hi another sheep all right i'm feeling very kind and generous lately so i have a very fun home for you <laughs> that baby already gripped dude that was like what four or five minutes ago maybe seven. Oh, the future food farm is coming along nicely hi little buddy so before we we even go and get situated and we actually start playing i really hope that there's another cow around here somewhere <laughs> i really i really want to and after running around the entire oh my god hi and I oh there's two of course there's two little green wieners right here why wouldn't there be of course no 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 i wanted to hit you down the hole stop no 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 okay oh no 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 huh wait did he blow up right here or does the map creator not turn on explosions uh Huh. Well, anyways, I don't think we're going to be finding any more passive mobs. So at least I kind of captured the important ones. And then we're just... Oh my god, I almost fell down the hole. Uh, we're just going to be keeping the cow for milk. So if I ever get poisoned or something. With that done, it's time to take this on. So if we actually head back to the top of the toilet, which very conveniently, there's a nice little staircase for us. First off, these are really good for food in the beginning if you can't find anything else. So I'll much rather uh, happily eat these instead of and flush and if we kind of take context clues from this book it honestly sounds like almost every single one of these quests wants me to go underground or i'm also gonna guess that a lot of this stuff is gonna be on the other islands oh no wait what i was gonna make a joke but there's the elytra i was gonna say if we go down to the poop shoot down there we can probably find some treasure but wow we really did find some treasure the only issue is that if i go right now uh i don't have any rockets so instead if i just mlg water bucket all the way down here and then 
then I, a little bit ago, I managed, which is plant those, find some sugar cane, and I have some gunpowder. And now we have 12 rockets. However, it's starting to get late, and uh, I kind of don't want to go make a journey. But there's most definitely going to be a lot of mobs, so yeah. Now, of course, I could just mine through this entire thing and, you know, have a nice little tunnel leading over there. But then I want to be able to do an MLG water bucket. Well, hopefully I don't miss. Whee! Whoa, okay. Well, I'm no gynecologist, but I believe there's zombies below me. So I think I should explore it. First, let's go get our elytra. I can't get over the fact that I accidentally found this entirely just from a joke. Gimme, give gimme. Give yes, yes. Ah, oh, wow, this looks so right. <laughs> should also probably take a lot of these blocks for building because this will look really nice. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Huh? Wow. Oh my. Oh. Okay, um, oh, hello, beautiful. Um, well, I have a diamond helmet and we're only on day seven, so yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Hey, I'm not complaining. Well, I wonder what else I could find in the nice fountain. So I'm gonna guess that there's something actually important below this fountain because there's all this bedrock, but the map creator doesn't want me to have fun and go through the ceiling. However, we can finally fly and we completed the first challenge. Next, we need to find a buried tank. Well, it doesn't really look that buried to me. <laughs> Unless by berry tank, it means this. Like, I can't tell if it's talking about this tank because technically it is one. Oh, that's not good. Okay, time to go to sleep. Now, I gotta be honest, uh, I don't think I've ever gotten the elytra and an enchanted diamond armor piece before while still having wooden tools. <laughs> so very obviously, it's time to go mining. I really need to upgrade my tools and make some armor. And I do see you right there, of which I'm kind of terrified to go into, I won't lie. <laughs> Hello? Oh god, I hear a lot of skeletons. Hello? Am I safe? Why is there cake? That's really ominous. So the issue that I'm having... One, these candles are cool, so I'm gonna take them. Uh, two... Where are all the enemies? <laughs> I hear so many enemies somewhere. I don't trust this cake. Oh, hi. Oh, no. Oh, it had to be the poison ones. No, 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 no. You, you get back. Okay, let's break the string while we're up here. That'll make it easy. Yeah. Ooh, coal. Holy oh, hi! Ah, okay. That was a cheap shot. Well, at least we have cake here, so that'll keep me nice and fed for a little bit. Hey, where's your spawner? Oh, hi. Yeah, I already have really bad nightmares of you. You really don't need to shoot me. Hi. Wow, you were really angry for no reason, if I'm being honest. Uh, don't attack me. I can't reach the chest, and I really want it. Uh, how'd that hit me? Please go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, it was really fun. I, I, I really can't go in there. <laughs> I hate spiders. Since we have the ability to fly, we honestly might as well just go to one of these places. And I kind of want to check out the tank first. It, it seems really comical. Oh, please have food. <gasps> uh, I mean, kind of. You, you kind of have food. This is such an interesting find. I also don't think that this is the type of firework that I could use to fly. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Wow, that actually surprised me. Huh. Hello? Am I gonna die? Hello? <gasps> oh, huh. What's up, Clint? Well, hello, Clint. Wow. If only I had a way to get emeralds. Uh, interesting find, but ultimately, thank you so much for the bread. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, that, that is the best find. I mean, honestly, might as well just sleep here tonight. So given how there's nothing left on the flying tank, I think the next good area to actually search is going to be the plunger. Plus, it's right down here and I have an elytra. Whoa, is there any goodies in here? Oh, how delicious. There's some chocolate chips. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, beautiful. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, that was very fun and beautiful in there. Uh, we might as well go check out the poop chute. Because surely I'm going to find some nice loot in here. Oh, I think that's iron. Don't mind if I do. Durandal. Uh, yep, that's a nice... Okay, nice. Uh, I think it's a little bit better than my wooden sword. <laughs> And then I almost missed this, but I actually need to collect this iron right here. You can hear all of them just being converted. All of the zombies turning into drowns. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Well, I guess it was a really good choice that I went for coal. Wow, this map is really easy. Props to the map creator. I'm shocked that they actually went into this much detail. Ooh. Uh, it should be safe to turn this into obsidian. I mean, we could be safe with it. And we got an almost broken anvil. Oh, hello, beautiful. And finally, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I thought that said hepatitis. <laughs> Very interesting. Well, uh, when in doubt, uh, call it out.
and then I would love to explore you, but I'm completely full. To prepare for the golden showers that were coming up next, I just spent the beginning of this morning to go around and collect all of my wheat and expand the farm. Tee hee hoo hoo, I'm coming for you. Oh, sweet, don't even need to use a rocket. Now, I hear a lot of enemies over here, so it's probably the wisest to start back at an angle or not. Oh, Okay. Is it like that everywhere? The answer is yes. Can I break in right here? The answer is no. Okay, how about right here? Oh no. Please do not tell me that the only way in there is to go through the flushing mechanism. Maybe I can go through a wall? Oh no, no. Oh no, the entire place is covered in bedrock. Oh, you had to skies proof it. You haven't won yet. There has to be at least like a little shortcut to go into there. There must be some little side entrance that I can take. No, it's all covered. Oh my God, hi. Oh Jesus. No, no, go oh, get it away. Get away from me. Yo, get off of my toilet. I don't share. No, the go into the other stall. You leave one open. You don't take the one right next to someone. Ooh, coal. Ow. Okay, that really hurt. Oh, hi. No, no, no. Oh, I'm actually shocked he blew up. But my suspicion is correct. Uh, explosions don't do anything to the map. So I guess that's actually really nice. So now I just have to worry about creepers killing me. Hi. I probably need your ender pearls. Yeah, come here. Come here. Oh, okay. I didn't know you could still hurt me. Okay, that was really close. Oh my God. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done down here. I do not need to see any more creepers. Oh God, I hate this place. Who knew going to the king's throne would be so dangerous? I mean, honestly, I'm probably good to actually make real tools. Like I really don't need to suffer with wooden ones anymore. You see the issue, I don't think I'm strong enough to take on every single thing down there as I still only have a diamond helmet. So I think up next, we go for the lactose intolerant toilet paper. Oh, please have something good, please. Well, if I need to make 900 beds, I'm set. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Wow, um, something tells me that the chests on this map are actually, like, really easy. I wonder if there's anything important in here. Oh? I'm okay, I'm not touching the brown toilet paper. Or the green. Ugh! And I mean, I guess the other place that I could check out would be the banana helicopter. I have a feeling that there's actually something in the walls. I swear I'm not psychotic. Oh? No secrets here, 100% legit, nothing to see here. Eh, if you say so. Oh, you were lying to me. Huh, actually not that bad. Uh, I can't collect any of you. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm coming back, yellow wiener. Good job, you just found a secret chest. Wonder if this was part of one of the quests. Well, uh, I think I found everything from the helicopter. So after getting rid of the helicopter, it got me thinking. That's how you know this is going to be good. Just like my I survived 100 days on a fork movie, which if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. I'm going to guess that every single one of these little island things is going to have a lot of treasure inside of them if I go and I mine around everywhere. Oh God, you're going to take days. Oh, without even knowing it, we already did number seven, get into the flying tank. Oh, we've also completed number four, find at least one K. And I think a nice safe island to actually go to is going to be the up house. A saloon. Ow. Ooh, hey, look at that. My second piece of armor. That goes perfectly with my helmet. Oh, hi. Luke and Lucky. Wow, you guys are not creepy. Uh, are you guys comfortable back there at all? Like, you're not budging or moving whatsoever. It's, uh, can't be that comfortable. So I looked around the entire saloon and I didn't see anything behind any of the paintings. So I climbed up to the roof and I saw a chest with some all right loot. But but I figured there'd be something in the balloon. While well, towering up to the balloon and I broke inside and almost immediately, there was a chest. It uh, had interesting uh, loot, but I took the light blue dye for my bed and then I explored the rest of the balloon, but I didn't see anything and then I just went back home to sleep. I wish I was recording, but don't fall asleep with the skeleton nearby you. I also just realized that uh, I should probably plant all of my sugar cane if I would like to keep using rockets. Is there any part around here? Hi. Now, is there any part around here that isn't just one block thick? Oh, hi. Much nicer. Like, with that luckily going, uh, yeah, we'll be completely fine on rockets for the remainder of the movie. I don't have to worry about creepers as well, because they like to show up unannounced. Oh, 
ever. I really need more bone meal. Uh, I really need to get back into farming. Okay, with all the chores settled, we can actually go back to exploring. So I doubt there's going to be anything up here. Ow. I actually want to check below the house. Maybe there's something hidden below the ground. And the answer is no. Uh, there's nothing. Oh, I never looked at your traits. Wow. Oh my. Um, other than raw chicken, uh, I know what I'm not going to be trading. Okay. Now this is more like it. This is stuff I can get used to. Regardless, uh, let's go mining. Let's see if we can actually find anything. And almost immediately we found this. No, my last name is not Croft. Now you see, I would take that, but I like mine more. Oh, am I supposed to use this for an iron farm? Interesting. It's not exactly looking like there's anything else in here. What an interesting find. Uh, wasn't really expecting it. Please, no one shoot me, please. So I'm really weak. And to get a lot stronger, I think I need to make a nice little mob farm. Especially since I could get some iron ingots dropped from zombies. Plus, I really want to try capturing a witch and some zombified villagers. And would you look at that? I have so much yellow concrete and sandstone. I can build something so beautiful. <laughs> so just like usual, we're going to be building away from the island. We're going to put it over the void. This so we'll increase all the spawning, but uh, I don't know how far I want to go out. Probably just start doing a single line right here. And there. This should hopefully be far enough away from the island. Uh, I mean, I got a very strong feeling that they're still going to spawn on there. Okay, now we should be good. Especially since I don't see any of them anymore. Oh, yo, I wonder if this is going to clear up the clog that's at the bottom of the toilet. I mean, you know, you can't blame them, you know. We all have those occasions where we have those giant logs. So I think if we make like a nice little simple island, you know, I think a nice little 9x9 nine nine area should be completely fine. And then we just need to fill in all the PP. Pee -pee. And then to actually build this thing, we're going to be needing a whole lot more blocks than what we currently have. And I think I see the island to mine. I actually don't remember if they sold any of the sand so i'll just take this just to be safe yo lucky and jake i hope you're selling what i need or you could say goodbye to all of this Ooh, you got lucky i mean ultimately just so i can fund all of my capitalism needs probably can make a chicken farm soon that's not gonna be that difficult and i'll take that and then we turn you into that i mean that wasn't much it was something but definitely not much um yeah you can say goodbye to your island by the way you know, they just need, the, you know, the actual house. I then just spent the remainder of day 15 borrowing their island from them. After all, they don't need it and they just need their house to stay alive. Plus, I'm sure they won't mind me using this for my mob farm. And I did the same exact thing today because iron tools are actually not as good as maxed out enchanted netherite tools. Who would have guessed? So the island is pretty destroyed. My pickaxe is destroyed and my iron is pretty destroyed. However, I have a lot of sandstone now, so we should should be hopefully good to actually make the mob farm. Trust me, I have a really good idea for it. So everything that we just spent to actually build it is going to be worth it. I hope. So I know you should only make it like a two by two for your entire shoot for your mob farm. However, I want to try out a design that's spider proof. So we're going three by three. Okay, now we just need to bring this up. However, I really don't want things to die or get that low on health. So we're going to try something new and kind of unorthodox. So for the mob farm, I want to make it without using a tutorial. I built it up eight blocks tall so that they don't take too much damage when they fall down because I really want to save any witch and zombie villager that I get. At the top of the chute, I'm not sure if this will work, but I put trapdoors there so whenever spiders spawn in, I'll be able to get rid of them. You'll see. As you can probably tell, I'm really low on food. And I saw this lovely skeleton who dropped nothing. So um, I just went around the farm, gathered up some of the wheat that I could, and then I started breeding more of the sheep uh, for no reason whatsoever. But at this point, I am running very low, so I'm going to be surviving off of sweet berries for uh, quite some time. So after all of that fun was done, I got back to work on the tower, and I was actually building it pretty decently. I try to save as many blocks as I can, and spoiler, we're cutting it very, very close. But I finished up all of the platforms and the walls, and I was getting to work on the trap doors, but I ran out. Yay, let me refill my super nummy food. Nom nom nom. But yeah, my wood resources are almost completely out, so uh, I know what I'm doing today.
Okay, so at least now I have enough wood to actually make all of the trapdoors that I need for the farm. It's just now I need to make slabs for the roof, but I don't feel like wasting any of my iron because I'm incredibly low. So this is gonna hurt, but yeah, we'll just take a little bit of a loss. After that, I noticed that my rockets were getting low and I remembered about the sugarcane farm. So I went around, harvested a lot of it, extended it, lit it up. And then all the trees that I cut down, the leaves were finally decaying. So I went around, cleaned all of that up, went back to the mob farm, added in all the trapdoors that I needed for it, and we're finally good. Okay, before we go back to the mob farm and we actually finish up everything there, uh, I kind of want to clean up the entire toilet. You know, it's important to keep maintenance on it. You don't want any dingleberries. <laughs> That's okay, buddy. I know it's nice and clean up. <laughs> Is he gonna come back? I was gonna say, I know it's nice and clean up here, but uh, needs to go bye-bye. So a good thing about cleaning up the entire toilet is now that it's actually clean. And I also got seven bone meal from it. So now we can go around and extend the farm, use the bone meal to grow everything. And after doing all of that, we now have 22 wheat. So what we could do is be smart and expand even more of the sheep. Oh, let's go. We finally have two chickens. And then the remainder of our wheat, we can turn into bread and oh my god finally something other than sweet berries now to finally finish my mob farm that is going to work perfectly and have nothing wrong with it so if i put a water bucket right there i now have infinite water and it perfectly goes over to the ledge and with every single side done so i know that the water doesn't touch the trap doors and then mobs can stand on them and just stay up here forever technically however when there's a mob here and another mob comes in right behind them it'll push them down so i'm really hopeful that it's just going to negate it like none of them are actually going to be able to stay up here and the reason for putting a three by three hole with trap doors right there when spiders fall down and they start climbing back up, they won't be able to get past these trap doors. So they can actually just stay right here. So that then when I'm waiting right here, I can put ladders down, climb all the way up the tower, break one of the blocks, and then kill the spiders right here. So then I can have infinite string and spider eyes if I care for those. But now the time that we were waiting for, oops, it's time to go around and finally place on the roof and hopefully this place starts working flawlessly. <laughs> After a couple of stacks of slabs, I finish up the roof and and then I went down below to wait and wait. And at first it didn't seem like it was actually working. So I started to get nervous, but then some of the mobs finally started to go down the chute and they luckily had a lot of their health. However, since I obviously made it such a short shoot, uh, the mobs don't really spawn in unless I kind of walk away. So uh, it's a little bit of a flaw, but I had to do this for my future plans. So this is probably a really good reminder that I should go around and light up the toilet. I, I don't mean light up as in the sense of me like you know destroying it uh while using it don't blow up don't blow up don't oh you didn't drop any gunpowder yeah i should really probably go down there soon okay i might as well stay on top of food because you know that is important okay wow that sure took a long time <laughs> i'm sorry sheep i'm hungry but i want to go back and check out the shop um i can fix this see perfect it's like nothing happened now this is going to judge what i'm going to be doing for the next couple of days what can i sell you <laughs> Okay, not a good sign. Weirdly enough, the one that's actually not too bad to go for would be blaze rods. Because it's not that hard to get 10, and that's for one emerald. Or I could camp at the mob farm and maybe get 50 bones. Wow, that would take a very long time. Because ultimately, I want to start getting a lot of these. Especially since my elytra is uh, halfway to being broken. So let's go see how profitable our lovely mob farm is. I'm sure I didn't waste my time building it for that. Or at least give me a witch and two zombified villains you know whatever works for you or i wonder if i just stand here and i just afk for the day i wonder if that would give me a lot of mobs down there i mean i honestly might as well just wait and find out i didn't have to wait long luckily i think i waited about four minutes and well we ended up with all of this oh my wow wait there's even spiders down here there's so many oh <gasps> there's a witch oh this is huge wait wait where's the witch okay i need to get rid of the creepers i think i see the witch in the back oh <gasps> yes yes oh this is huge oh no i don't have any blocks oh Okay, okay. I, I need to come back in the morning. Uh, I need to block off that chute so I can actually protect that witch. Or actually not protect her, but pull her out. Uh, hi, boys. You don't mind me? No. <laughs> I 
Hello, yeah, no, I need to come back here. Thank you. Okay, am I safe? Ooh, skeleton died, and that's a creeper. No, 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 no. Okay, we need to be fast. I need to be fast. I need this. That's not a good sign. I don't see anything over there. Oh, don't tell me the witch despawned. Actually, before I even go over there, ooh, I really need a boat. Please don't be thunder. No. Oh, man, that's what I was worried about. Yeah, everything despawned. Oh, we have carrots. Man, well, ah, uh, that sucks, but at least I'm prepared now. I actually really want to get this witch before I go and explore any of the other islands. So yet again, I just stood around and waited, and luckily, I didn't have to wait long. Well, this isn't looking good. Uh, I'm seeing a whole lot of green. Oh my, okay, I'm only seeing green. Oh, at the very least, I'm able to hit a baby. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't even lucky enough to get a villager zombie. Yeah, yeah, I think I really messed up with not bringing blocks for the witch when it first spawned in. Oh, that's going to be a costly mistake that's going to be taking so long. I mean, I guess I could wait right here for a little bit longer. Well, as it is nighttime and uh, that doesn't look like a witch to me. So very sadly, we'll just have to continue this later. I want to do other stuff. Hi, yes, hello, all the mobs that keep reminding me that I should light up my entire toilet and i mean lighting up as in like you know putting torches everywhere not uh you know exploding on it so anyways at least i got a decent amount of gunpowder so now i have 57 rockets oh what a beautiful sight so now that i don't really need to be careful about where i go i kind of want to check out the moon like i have a strong feeling that there's going to be something at least kind of useful on it i'm hoping fingers crossed yadi where did you put the walk mm -hmm, mm -hmm. nice moon rover is there anything important on it. I mean, oh, don't mind if I do. Uh, interesting stuff. Collecting materials from the moon is my favorite hobby. My calculations indicate that there's a pretty nice sample around these coordinates. Can't wait to collect it. Welp, uh, I know where I'm going. And by my calculations, it should be around here. Oh, what a beautiful sight. Oh, yes. Give me iron. Oh, huh, interesting. I hope that's not the treasure he was talking about. Oh, hi. Oh, did we just find a dungeon. Uh, interesting. I will be needing this obsidian for the nether portal. But as you can see, uh, I kind of lack diamonds. Ooh, but not gold. Now, I'm no chef, but I think there's zombies this direction. Anyways, we'll just come back to this. Let's get back to digging for that treasure. Oh, hi. Can I break this with an iron pick? Oh, yes. That actually helps us out so much. And uh, I'm going to go with that was the treasure. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be finding anything else down here. Now, let me collect more of you. And then, let's go check out these lovely zombies. Okay, am I just unlucky or how have I not found them yet? Oh, hey. Do I dare jump down there? <laughs> uh, I'll take my chances. Water. Huh, thank you. I didn't know. Ultimately, I would like to wait until I have a pick with fortune on it, but um, I'll, I'll take this. We can now at least make a diamond pick. This is driving me insane. Where are you guys? Huh? Oh. Well, hello. <gasps> oh. Okay. Well, hey. Uh, don't mind if I do. Oh, yes. Finally. I found it. Oh, oh, my God. Hi. I was more scared about the chicken than the zombie. I, I can't lie. Wow. Okay. That was scary. <laughs> please, please move. I, I need to put down a torch. No, no, stop. No. I, I need to put down a torch. Please. Okay. No, no, no. Stop, stop. Okay. We just, just pot. Chill, chill. Please. Can you guys please just wait? Please. I just want to show. Oh, I want to show you something cool. Okay. Come on. Okay. Okay. Hurry, hurry, hurry. No more. Okay. Ah. Oh. Nice, nice. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared to open these, but none of them look trapped. And you can tell because they'll be kind of red around the uh, little lock. Just to be safe, I'm ready to run. Uh, I might have to come back. I probably should have been smarter and emptied my inventory before coming here. Yeah, let's go get cleaned up. And here, we could take the express route home. Whee! Okay, maybe I don't need to get mending because this is my third elytra. And actually, before we head back to the moon, I kind of want to combine my swords. Wow, that is expensive. Okay, much better. And now we have sharpness. Wow. Okay, yep, we have a lot of stuff. Now I should at least be able to do damage and fulfill my loot goblin needs. And then I'll leave this here just in case if I ever want to come back and actually make like a zombie spawner for whatever reason. So we still have some room. So that means I can go loot more. And while flying around, I have been seeing some caves kind of 
like this one that links right back to where I just was. Nice. Oh, hello. Whoa, hello. Wow, you want a buzz? Well, hello, buzz. Wow. Huh. Interesting trades. Um, I'm good. It was nice catching you, though. Very interesting home you have. It must be very hard to get some business. And then there's one last cave that I saw on here that I really want to check out. Well, I mean, it's not bad in here. We're getting a lot of ores. Okay, well, I was. I don't know why, but I thought that was a netherite sword. But, uh nice yeah maybe in the future I'll, I'll come back here but for now I'm, I'm kind of good and it's past my bedtime oh my god i really need to light up my toilet hi yeah good morning to, to you too yes no yes yes i know i'm happy to see all of you as well yep there goes the relatives and here goes the green wiener thank you yep goodbye yeah i really need to light up the place but at the same time i kind of don't want to because it's kind of nice having a farm out here this is starting to become pathetic the mobs are having better armor than me and you know what it's day 26 we we could probably splurge a little bit <laughs> i spent a little bit getting organized and getting prepared and would you look at that i finally have iron armor and a diamond pick so uh i kind of want to go and take on the toilet bowl so i really want to try that out i mean for the most part if i dive into there and i immediately go swimming straight through i actually should be able to skip almost all of these enemies and i should live because i mean i also have the totem of undying oh boy okay let's try it why not I i'm down to be a little dangerous <laughs> all righty here we go don't kill me oh my gosh 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 did that work okay i don't know i don't know what i hit that made me pop my totem of undying so uh i'm a little confused i, I thought i hit the water okay, i really don't know what i hit and i'm also confused on how skeletons are not drowning hi oh wow that is a lot of enemies okay let's not go back there and that is a lot of enemies ahead of me um what's up boys hi 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 no 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 you can go you can go away no 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 oh my gosh oh my gosh Oh, I think I made a very big mistake. Uh, I can't even dig out of here or else I'm just going to be hitting bedrock. Um, I really, really strongly regret coming in here. Wow. Uh, I really should not have done this. This was not smart. <sighs> oh my gosh, I am so trapped right now. I kind of want to kill him down there, but at the same time, I don't want to take the damage. I need that creeper gone. Okay, that was bad. Huh? Why is there smoke right here? What? I please, thank you. Oh, God, that is a lot of drown coming. Oh, uh, we might need to explore our options on uh, how much I can just mine out of here. We might need to start exploring those options. Um, I need to get out very, very badly. At least I have bodyguards now, so I'm, I'm kind of grateful for that. There's so many. Oh, uh, I really wish I had an ender pearl. Oh, I could have escaped. Oh, can an enderman please just teleport right here? What if I break this? And then I don't have to worry about taking damage from you guys. I could just farm you. Yeah. Wow, this is a better mob farm than the one that I built. Hi. You want to stay there, bud? I might actually be able to run in there and break that spawner. Hurry, 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 hurry. Go, 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 go. Yes. Okay. One down, one down. Two down. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Run, run, dodge. Oh, okay, okay. Well, uh, I can actually start using a bow. So that's pretty good. Yep, yep, yep. You're not the only one with a Glock. Okay, I, I need to get away from the water. There's one more enemy. I see him right there around the edge. Or not? Okay. I have no torches. I have no torches. Break you. Okay. Oh, so that's the end portal. And um, yeah, that kind of just looks like a really bad time. So I think I found the end game and uh, why there's bedrock everywhere in here. And um, yeah, I'm definitely not coming back here for quite some time. And um, now, as you can tell, uh, the enemies are starting to come in here. So uh, I think I need, it's my time to, you know, get out. Hi, buddy. Yeah, no. Oh, no, it's okay. You guys really don't need to come in here. It's totally fine. No, 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 it's okay. Totally okay. You can definitely stop. Nope, nope. At least this is clearing up my exit. It's a lot easier to fight you guys up here than down there. So I think the most possible way to get out of here, and it's going to be incredibly risky. The second I get over, I need to start spamming my rockets to fly out. That, that is going to be the only way. Oh, God. Oh, wow. That is a lot of enemies. Okay. Hi. I am really happy that you cannot really shoot underwater. No, 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 it's okay. You really don't need to come around. No, 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 don't, don't shoot me. You can hit me at this range. Ow. Don't 360 me. What? Okay. Okay. Um, maybe if I just refill on air. Oh yeah, we need to close you up. 
Yeah. So now if I just kind of clear this out a little bit. Wow, that is a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies. Yes, that actually kind of worked. Oh, there's iron. Oh, there's so much gunpowder. Oh, this is actually amazing. Oh, I want all of this. I want it all. I want it all. Oh, I'm so greedy. It was really nice. Really nice. Really enjoyed my time with you guys. Goodbye. Oh my God, I lived. Oh my God, that was going to be a really short movie. Well, at least now I found out that I really need to get to diamond armor. <laughs> uh... I really, really need to get a little bit stronger. And I also need a Totem of Undying, which I uh, apparently seem to not have anymore. And I believe I actually found one in the shop over here somewhere. Oh, hey, look, yeah, I, I need to borrow that, bud. Thank you. Ah, much nicer. Also, to get stronger, uh, I think we need to do my idea now. And to do that, I uh, just now need to wait. Well, uh, no luck today. I even tried to refresh them by coming over here and killing them. And I mean, we're getting pretty decent stuff. So at least I got that going for me. <laughs> All right, I got a good feeling about today. Sure, ow, surely we're going to be getting a witch. The only part I hate is that I can't AFK over here and like, uh, and wait for them to spawn in while tending to my farm and, you know, building and stuff. All righty, witch, I believe in you. I know you're going to spawn in. And while I shouldn't have put in any hope into the witch coming at all, because, um, yeah, nothing. I just got regular mobs again. Oh, uh, dude, I wish when that witch first came, I should have just broken her out. Oh, uh, I really should not have left her. Because, I mean, at the very least, you know, we're getting a whole lot of gunpowder, which is really nice. And in case you're wondering about my shovel, why it's a higher durability, there was a zombie in here that dropped an iron shovel and then I just combined it with mine. Surely today is the day we finally get a witch. Surely we'll be lucky enough to get one and then I don't have to just stand around all day, right? And yet again, as I was waiting throughout the day, it just, it was useless. I wasn't getting anything. It was normal creepers, skeletons, zombies, and I just feel like I'm wasting my- Wait, 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 wait. One of them's different in there. Oh, that's not a witch, but that's actually something that I need. Oh, this is huge. This is huge. Okay, so I need to come up here. I need to block off this. Then I need to be very careful. We need to kill everyone in here. If it's, oh, why hello there, beautiful. Okay, so I have one issue being that it is uh, daytime. So, okay, you come out and follow me. Yeah, I need you to go right there. Beautiful. Oh, this is huge. Oh, this is incredible. Finally, something is happening. And now I'm pretty lucky because as long as he stays in the boat, I actually don't need to name tag him. So we should be pretty good until we can turn him into a human. We just need to get the witch now. Okay, so now if I come back here, open you up. Oh, there's so many spiders. Wait, hold up. You! Hey, I need you to die. Stop taking up all my uh, all my my mob numbers. There we go, and now we go back to waiting. Nighttime is going to be an actual nightmare. Oh god, I'm not excited for that at all. With that incredibly amazing find, I now have one of the two zombie villagers that I need, and I waited until nighttime so I can transfer him over to my base. But I wasn't lucky enough to get anything else. And I mean, it's not the worst. You know, we got pretty lucky. So now if we turn you on, so with him, instead of me just driving the boat all the way, oh God. So instead of me just, you know, uh, piloting him in a boat all the way over, we can actually just make him walk the entire distance. And then we'll just put him back in a boat with blocks over his head and then we'll be fine. I mean, don't be scared to walk a little bit faster, buddy. <laughs> Come on, get in the boat, get in the boat, get in the boat. Yes, good. Okay, good. Woo! I don't want anything else to get into the boat with him. I also just realized it's probably a good thing that I don't light up this place because there is a chance that a witch or a zombified villager does spawn up here. Oh, wait. Oh, God, before I sleep. Whew, man, I almost just lit you on fire. Okay, you should be completely good. I don't think he's going to catch on fire. And if he does, I have a water bucket ready. No, 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 no. I didn't see you join nighttime. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, don't blow up and kill him. Get in the water. Water. Yes, yes. Okay, keep following me. Keep following me. Come on, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Please, 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 stop. Please just stay in the water. Actually, wait, wait. I can save you. I can save you. Just stop. Just stay in the water. In the water. Just stay. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on. Okay. Uh. Okay, this is kind of an issue. Uh. No, no. Don't light on fire! Under here! Under, under, in the shade, in the shade, shade, shade. No! Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't notice him during the night. Ugh. 
Now watch it take like five days for me to find another zombie villager. Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. I should have just extended that. He was in the pool. I don't know why I made it so difficult to get him under that. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. The only other saving grace is that maybe there's one down below. Get off my toilet. Oh, you're still on. Yeah, get off my toilet. <gasps> Oh, oh, that's huge. Oh, that is huge. Oh, that is so much harder to get than a zombie villager. Alrighty, alrighty. Uh, luckily, a witch can actually go into the sunlight. So first off, I need to get back down here. And uh, yeah, we need to actually light up this entire place. I, I actually need to go through and spawn proof this. So yeah, this should be good. Oh, hello. What's up here? Any food? Huh, that's interesting. Oh, hello. I mean, this is kind of adorable. It's interesting. Okay, now I think I went around and I lit up this place pretty decently. Like, I don't really see too many spots where things could spawn in. I think I'm going to go to sleep just to make it a lot easier to actually bring her up here. And then, uh, it's time to party. <laughs> Luckily, she's hurting all of the creepers for me. So, uh, thank you. Yeah, I just need to double check. Okay, good, good. I'm not seeing any zombified villagers anywhere. Okay, I'm good to sleep. So now I need to go around and actually remove all of the water pathways that would hinder her walking up here. And and, uh, I think that'd be you, you. Oh, this is gonna make it so dangerous in here because now all of the mobs aren't just gonna be at the bottom of the bowl. They're actually gonna be able to explore. I wish I had a sponge. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna take this long to get rid of all the water. Okay, can you chill? Don't worry, you're, you're gonna be free soon. I, I promise you. Thank you for poisoning all of them. I actually really appreciate... Okay, never mind. I don't appreciate it anymore. Okay, actually, before I go back down there, I need food. I, I can't do berries anymore. There we go. Much better. Oh, now I can actually heal my myself. Alrighty, honey. Don't worry. I I'm trying to get you out. Don't worry. I promise you, you're going to be free soon. Oh, okay. You don't need to do that the entire time that I'm doing this. It's okay. Okay. You really don't need to be doing that. Okay. Okay. You can chill. I need my cow. I need my cow. I need my cow. I need my cow. Oh, okay. Uh, this is it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be so much fun trying to get that little brat out of there. I honestly think the best way is just gonna be rushed down there, put blocks in a straight line so she could just have like a little brit. She's still trying to potion me. You know what? I think we need to get a lot of wheat. So from the bone meal that I got from my mob farm, I just spent the time just collecting a lot of wheat so I can make a lot of bread and just so I can be able to breed all of the sheep, which continued the next day. And then finally I had enough wheat to do what I wanted to do. I honestly don't know if I have it in me to go through all of my seeds and turn them into bone meal because I have a lot. Eh, it didn't take that long. So now my idea of making so much wheat is to actually go through and then expand all of the sheep. And now that there's a lot of babies in there, we can go uh, a chew. Oh no, what happened to mommy? Oh no, what happened to daddy? Uncle, no. Auntie, no. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to have to do it this way. I just, I don't have an ax anymore. I, I'm sorry. I know th this is really awkward now. I, I didn't mean for it to go like that. And now finally we can have real food. Food, and also a lot of bread. Plus, trust me, you know, their wool didn't go to waste. I'm gonna be needing a lot of beds once I get two of you. Oh god, dude. Oh, wait, she's out of the water. Oh, wait, 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 this is good, this is good. Okay, we need to actually prepare an entrance for her to get out of. And I think right here is gonna be our best bet. No, not more water. Be able to make it all the way over here. Boom, boom, boom. And then that's when we start jumping up. Perfect, okay. And then we're, we're just gonna keep her over here. I don't want her interacting with anything of mine. Oh, you hoo witch. Hi, right, hello there, budhead. Don't talk, don't, do not chuck that at me. Come here, you made it out of the water before. Come on, I know you can do it without hurting me. You see, I have to like run back and forth like every couple of seconds just so I don't get hit. There you go. There you go. Water should be all cleared up. Come on. There you go. Come on. I hate you so much. Wait, you are out. You baited me. Stop throwing those. Stop. I'm too pretty to be poisoned. Come on, come on. Boat, 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 boat. Okay, there you go. Come on, come on, come on. You're you're literally right there at the top. Just, just jump up. Come on. What? Is your fat head too fat? Just go around. There you go. Come on. Come on. Okay, not that though. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, you are such a nightmare. But finally, that is done. That's half done. I just need to get one more zombified villager and then we're finally all set to go. Uh, I should also really cover up 
This. You want to hurt yourself, would you? Okay, you would. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I put a little bit too much faith in you. Don't you dare die to your own poison. So before I head back to my mob farm, probably should make another boat and swap out my elytra that's almost broken. Oh yeah, that's right. I have sugar cane. Kind of totally forgot about this. Please give me good luck. Have your brother spawn in, please. This is totally going to take me all day just to get one or several days. So I started early off in the day just to give myself as much time as possible to get a zombified villager and to everyone's surprise right at the end of the day i got nothing it was just regular mobs another wasted day Alrighty, new day new me i'm sure i'm gonna get them this time <laughs> And for a second day in a row, I waited and waited and nothing. It was another bad day. And while waiting, I kind of realized that I could have just built a regular mob tower and then just put water at the bottom when I wanted to save them. And it would have worked a lot faster. So yeah, not my smartest decision to build it like this. Okay, really quickly. I don't want the same mistake. None of you are zombified villagers, right? Get off my toilet. No, no, my, my, my toilet, my toilet. Now try. Trust me, I would totally love to go back there and just AFK for like a week straight like everyone else. I want to do something. I'm getting bored. <laughs> and one place that's going to be actually important to get to is going to be the nether. So let's actually go and check out the portal. Now let's see. Do I hopefully have enough obsidian? Nice. Then if we light you up now, before we actually go in again, just because I, you know, knowing map creators that make maps like this, I'm curious if there's anything hidden around this portal. And so so far, it's looking like a yes. Ah, uh, I knew it. Hi, beautiful. Okay, I kind of spoke a little bit too soon. So I mean, not the worst. Oh, I should probably get organized. Okay, much better. So I mean, we don't have to do too much in there. I just kind of want to explore it and just see what my options are for loot. I saw this gravel pathway and I started to follow it. And then almost immediately came upon this destroyed village place. Inside of it, there was a couple of chests and, you know, I had all right stuff inside of them, but I didn't dare take it because, you know, you shouldn't rob the dead. I found this destroyed bridge and then I found this gravesite and, um, nothing happened there. I went over there, paid my respects and then left. And of course, I couldn't help myself. I just had to collect all this glowstone and ended up getting 23. So I should be able to use that for the toilet. Hello there, buddy. Have you heard about our Lord and Savior? Jesus! Surely there's not going to be a trap on here and and then it just makes all the gravel fall and then I die. You still have a chance to turn back. Oh, okay, if you insist. No way. I've heard about it in the legends, but I never knew I was actually going to be able to go and see the legendary nether toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I heard this puppy doesn't get clogged at all and he can flush the biggest turds ever. <laughs> now, the lucky part is that I don't actually need to bridge to it. So, uh, whee! oh my God. Nope, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Nope. I do. Oh my God. I wasn't expecting spawners to be there. I thought they would be inside. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. Okay. And if I've learned anything from the fork video, which if you haven't already, you should go and watch that movie. It's really funny. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for promoting. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh dear God. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. <gasps> now, as I was saying, from what I've learned from the fork video, uh, I can't break those spawners or at least one of them or else I'm never going to be able to get blaze rods again. So there's so far just two and they look really happy to see me. So I, I, I probably don't have much to worry about. What happened to all the others? I swear there was like five. Oh my God. Oh, okay. That was, that was, that was a good one. I'll give you that. That was a good snipe. Okay. As soon as they go completely down, I'm going to rush in. Hopefully they don't go up too high. Oh, okay. Come on. That, that's not even fair. Come on. Break one, break one, break one. Okay, good. Okay. Whew, okay. Okay. One spawner I can actually handle. Two? No, no. That's too much. Also, we should light it up so nothing at least spawns in over here, but they'll spawn in over there. Why do I hear wither skeletons? Hello? You taking big poop? Ooh, yep, yep, yep. You taking big poop. -poo. Get down. Get down. Come here. Get back over here. Come on. Come over. On here. I don't want you to drop your blaze rods into the lava. Oh. Huh. Oh. Ooh. Oh man, um, I'm kind of full, so that kind of sucks. Uh, are you back on the platform? No? Okay, well, it was fun, buddy. Okay. Do I need to build a wall? Why do I hear the USA's anthem? Do I have anything? Okay, I mean, I could block him in with this at least. Oh, hi. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Low. How many are up here? Wow. Oh my gosh. And you guys really know how to choose the perfect time to spawn in at the worst time. Oh my god. No, 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 no. 
no, 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 no. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I was at like two hearts. I only have six, so uh, I'm coming. Okay, go, go lower. Come on, that's not fair. Ooh. I mean, I kind of wanted to kill you guys. So did you guys just go to the stairs and then stop? Hi. Oh my God, they're coming. Wait, why are you going back? Come, come down. No, go back up, go back up. Oh, that hit me? Oh, that's so cool. There's a lot of you out here. That's really dope. Oh my God. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I could actually just make a blaze farm if I knew how. Please drop one, please, please don't hit me. Thank you. Yes, okay. Oh, what? Wait, I swear I'm not going crazy. I swear I was just at nine and I thought that was gonna be 10, but now I'm at 18. What? I'm confused, but um, yeah, at least that one will. Now, don't you worry. I'm not leaving the nether forever. I just need to go drop this all off and then we're going right back there. Probably should get some more bread as well. That might be a good decision. I kind of wish that there was like an enchantment for the hoe where if you break a fully grown crop, it would drop more. Oh, sheepies. So after feeding the sheep, I got quickly organized and then went right back into the nether. Whee! Let's start from the top. Oh my god, I regret starting from the top. No, 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 no. Wow, okay, that was that was some entrance. Well, hello. Huh? Weird. Ooh, okay. Well, uh, hello, beautifuls. Very nice. Seem to be nice and safe. We have all right loot in here. Huh. I don't know the purpose of that, but um, sure. I'll happily take that. Uh, I don't really get it. Hi, buddy. Oh, sweet. You can't come up here. Yo, everyone, come to the staircase. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Like, a lot of fun. Yeah, hey, what's up, boys? You gonna go? Oh, my God. No, don't, don't go. Oh, my Jesus. Okay, stop trying to get a fast one on me. So, I had one wither skull from the top chest and then I killed these weathers and I got a second skull. So my thought, well, hey, why not just stay here until I can spawn in the weather, you know? And then the blazes started spawning in and they just kept coming and then they came to my floor. They were even watching the window outside and something that was supposed to be very easy turned into a chore. Please go away. What did I do not come from up there, please? What did I do to you guys? So today started off the same as well. I was just saying hello to all the weather skeletons and the blazes, and you know, everything was going very smoothly. I know to you it might seem like my situation was dire, but I was actually very level-headed and very calm. No, 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 no. And then finally, after shooting down the last blaze and killing the last wither skeletons, I was able to rush down there loot up everything and then finally when i checked my inventory i had the third wither skull okay so i just need a heal and then we're running out of here uh, as much as i would love to go through the front door i don't really think that's going to be possible there there's at least i would say four blazes out there hi okay yep goodbye goodbye okay yep see you later nope i'm good i'm good oh my gosh but wow, we we got a lot of good loot. Okay, so after getting entirely organized, I do have six ender pearls. So we might as well just turn them into eyes of ender. And now I have seven. And very luckily, I don't need to use them at all to find the portal. And speaking of portal, it should uh, be a lot easier to reach it. I wanna sleep, I wanna sleep, I wanna sleep. Okay, so I'm a little bit low on food. Actually, wait, while I'm here, is there a crimson forest nearby? It's, uh, it's looking like no. I want to find hoglins. I want their sustenance. Really? Right in front of your kid, too? That must be embarrassing. No, 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 no. Here, before we go into the toilet, let's actually fly around because I really... Hey! No! Any oink oinks around here? Are there any... Ooh, there's another one over there. This one looks promising. I smell bacon. I see bacon. I mean, you're not going to drop any, but I don't want you to hurt me. This is in self-defense, I swear. It is an armed pig. I have to do this. Oh my God, how much health do you have? I didn't know I was going against a mini boss. Hello, Mr. Oink Oinks. For the love of God, do not tell me it was only a baby pig that's in here. Yes, I need your sustenance. Oh my God, there is a lot of you. Wow, you have really far reach. Did you know that? I have no arrows. Oh, I have no... Oh God, I have no arrows. You're like really weirdly pacifist so, oh my god 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 uh, no stop running come here oh my god no no go away go away run away run away i don't know oh my god you're actually coming over here holy i killed your friend what you gonna do there we go Phew. oh my god i mean this is really dangerous to do but we have 16 so far so this seems really worth it to me one there another one there no no <laughs> 
Oh my god. Oh dear god. I hate you guys so much. I can't believe I got stuck on a tree. Uh, well, I have regeneration now, so let's go. Let's go. Kill all of you. You deserve it. I, I hate you. Your parents suck. I can't believe I popped a totem there. I can't believe I had my back to a tree. Okay, not two at once, Jesus. So I got us to 47 and I'm completely out of food. And I mean, I would love to stay here and just keep farming them so I can get more food, but I don't have a totem of undying anymore and I kind of don't want to die. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of lost. Don't remember where I came from, but it sure was not this direction. Now, I'm going to guess that I came this direction because I see that crimson forest there. Oh my God, okay, Jesus. Oh my God, it's a stupid baby. So I think the toilet should be there. There you are. Yep, okay. Eh, that was easy. So if I ever need food, uh, at least I know where to go. And then before taking on the toilet, we are definitely returning home and uh, cooking. A lot of cooking. Hi, I need your balls. Oh, nice. I got both of his balls. And wow, what a perfect time to return home. And don't come over here. Please, please, please do not. Don't, 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 don't. Oh my God, yes. Whew. Oh, oh, safety. Oh, safety. Okay, we'll start cooking all of those. Om nom 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 nom. Okay, so we actually need to take the emeralds. We need to go back to our lovely shop. Hello. Ow. What? Hello, boys. Yeah, I'm gonna need to snag me like uh, two of these. Oh, so much better. God, I feel so safe now. And honestly, with how my luck has been going, I might as well just carry the second one with me. I stared down the furnace for the rest of the day to hopefully terrify the pork chops inside of it to make them all cook a lot faster. But sadly, it didn't work. So um, I just waited here for the entire day. Okay, and there we go. So finally, all the pork chop is cooked and we get to go have more fun Whee! yeah i didn't forget about you boy yeah boy i don't forget what they did to me in my totem of undying okay so we actually have to be really quick don't want them spawning in on me well this sure doesn't look like a trap now i'm no scientologist but i think I think there's lava above me. Wow. <laughs> I really wish I came here. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for the uh, the decent loot. Not too bad, not too good. And then just in case, like I, I never do potions, but like honestly, I should probably try them out. So uh, well, I'll take these and the soul sand. Hmm, I if I go like right here, huh? What, what's gonna come down? What? <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Really? Oh my God. What? Wow. I I need to do jokes more often. Um. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh hi. I can believe you. No. Duh. Come here. Come here. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Thank. You. Okay. No. No. Please die. Please die. Don't. Don't shoot me again. Please. Thank you. At least I can finally heal. I. No, 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 thank you. Oh, that's right. I need to take these. Totally forgot about them. Okay, phew. Okay. Uh, double check, double check everything. Checking, checking, checking. Uh, no, oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I think it's safe to go. Um, actually, that's probably part of a quest. We probably should get the rabbit spawn egg. Also, just why not? You know, I'm here. I, I have the ability to get it. No, no. Wait, did I get it? I thought I left it in a chest right here. Hi. Right. Okay, well, that was a waste of like three rockets and my pork chop so yep oh my gosh oh, okay i think we're finally good with another unless i ever need to come back here for more pork chops or for some blaze rods i mean i probably could go and get more pork chops because now thinking about it for me to go to the end uh, i kind of need food when i'm fighting the dragon and you know it doesn't hurt to go over here and you know, get some more oh piggies many oink oinks around here okay are there any pigs here actually like any even just one I'll, I'll take that there you are there they are hi 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 oh my god this is so awkward hi oh my god i can't stop flying my elytra will not stop working Woo! wow okay that was some intro okay that was that was a good introduction to the forest oh that's right i have air oh wow i have a lot of loot i have arrows totally forgot about that oh my god that is so many enemies hi thank you yes yes just stand right there perfect yes good shot nice good angles i hate the babies yeah kill them boys yeah yeah we need that pig yeah thank you for the pork thank you porkies okay i don't want to get too lost so i kind of want to camp around here oh wow you killed the pig for me thank you i love donations Whee! Yeah. yeah, this is my tree. Yeah, yeah, you don't like that, do you? Nope, can't break my ankles. Nope, mm -mm. 
nope, I still hit you every shot. No, I could have been using this sword the entire time and it would have been cooking. Ah, oh, I wonder if the mending on it actually will prevent it from breaking. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, 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 no. You are not popping my totem again. No. Mm -mm. In lighter news, uh, yeah, the sword actually heals itself up perfectly fine. So I don't have to worry about it like actually breaking and it does cook them. No. Oh, I should have been using the sword. How much damage? Seven, seven. So it's the exact same as my iron sword. But wow, is that sword so much nicer than mine? I mean, not really. I just really enjoy the fire aspect on it. Okay, this will be our last pig because we've actually gotten... Oh my God, there are so many right here. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. I, I know I said last pig, but you know, I can still do more than just one with you all right here. Oh, that was a close one. Baby, do not hit me. Do not hit me. Do not hit me. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Chill, chill. Okay, thank you. Whew, wasn't even close. All calculated. So in total, we have 91 pork shops. Let's actually make that higher. Now we got 94. So I think we're completely fine. It's now time to go and find our way home, which should be this direction. Oh no. Uh oh. Um, hmm. This should be interesting. Um, I'm completely lost. <laughs> oh, and if you look at that, right past the lava stream. Yay, there's our lovely toilet. And there you are. Okay, now I think we're completely done with another. Yes, home, home, home. Oh man, I never thought I would be so happy to see a toilet. Actually, that's a lie. Let's be honest. We're usually always happy to see a toilet. And then I spent the remainder of day four. 42 going through and putting everything away. Oh, and I also put down that nether wart farm that I'm totally going to be using. Ah, oh, beautiful meat. So now that we're done in the fun toilet, I think it's time we go and get you a brother or a sister, partner, stepsister, I don't know. And you know what that means. Time to get a zombified villager on the first try. And well, yet again, uh, nope, didn't get any villagers. However, it's not entirely an issue because I could find another zombie villager on the toilet. I don't mean like that. Uh, well, it's not looking good. Yeah, go for him. Yeah, yeah, go get him. Yeah, yeah. No, not on my, not on my crops, not on the crops. No, 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 don't, don't, don't destroy my, no. Wow, I'm actually shocked that I didn't destroy my crops. Now, before I waste one more day with camping at my beautiful farm, I should probably go check this out because there is a possibility that I get more spawn eggs over here or there's just going to be a lot of pillagers. That also works. I'm actually really happy you're the crossbow ones and not ow, and not the ones with an axe. Anyways, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Orange and yellow and porous is he. Ooh, cooked fish. Wow, that is... Okay, a lot of stuff in here. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Just grab everything. Read it all later. Oxygen! This is so cool. I love this place. Like, it's, it's just so pretty. That is so smart. To drop spores in here. Oh, wow. That's actually so smart. Oh, I love this fish tank. Oh, hi. Michelangelo. No way. Big fan. Surely something good in here. Eh, eh. Why do I hear a creeper? Oh, no. I can't pick up everything and I broke the chest. Ooh, we need to get home fast. Oh, I need to drop off everything really quickly. Perfect. Okay. Probably should release him because I'm also pretty certain that sea turtles need oxygen oh how did i miss a double chest oh they're oh, okay cool yeah that's gonna be something that i don't spawn <laughs> What's up, boys? Oh, I see you guys were a little busy while I was down there. Okay. I won't lie. You guys are starting to hurt. You guys are starting to hurt a little bit too much now. Okay. Calm. Relax. Relax. Don't worry. There's enough of me to go around. Don't worry. Oh, dear God. They never stop. It's like there's two spawners or something. Please. Whew. Okay. Half a heart. Okay. 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 I need I need to heal a little bit and then we'll go back up there. Oh, okay. I missed him. Oh, that's embarrassing. Of course, he didn't miss me. And then just for the last check, let's go check out the drawers. In the cabinet. Surely all oh my wow. Okay. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, there's so many enemies in here. Oh, a lot of creepers. So many skeletons. Uh, that's just spiders. No, I'm good. Oh god, didn't mean to, I didn't mean to. Hi. Oh, there's a lot of you here. Hi, you wouldn't happen to have any villager versions of you, right? Hello? Oh, I got my hopes up. Uh, I then went through and I explored the rest of that desert town. I found some chests and they had okay loot, but I never found any zombified villager spawn egg like I was hoping for. Also, since usually there's a hidden chest on every single island, I went around digging out all of the sand, which I went for a while and I didn't find anything 
anything at all. So I then decided, hey, let's go to the story above. And as soon as I got up there, nope, I immediately started getting attacked. I then went back up after fighting the skeleton down below and it was even worse. And I was definitely not in the position to fight at all. So I um, bravely got out of there. And then night fell and I wanted to test my luck one more time just to see if I can get a zombified villager up here. And, oh, ah, no way. Yes. Oh, I don't need an AFK anymore. Yes. No, stop throwing that. So the only thing is I don't want them to get into the same boat as that one. I want them separate. Don't come over here, buddy. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hi. Yes. Yes. And I make sure that he can't burn up. Oh my God. We're finally done. Yes. Then in the morning, I waited for all of these very hot mobs to burn to death. And I just went around and tended to my farms because they're all kind of full. Now it's time for the fun part. I need to bring these two. Ow, 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 ow. Over near the witch. I also need to extend their protection platform. So this what? Okay, that was weird. So I can protect this one. I'm not burning up. For the love of God, please do not kill him. Please, please stop. 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 Okay, it should be completely safe now. I'm hoping to not have uh, another one of you burn up in fire. Ow, 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 ow. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Ow. Please chill. Both of you. Stop. Oh, okay, okay, good, good, good. Okay, they're in position now, so we can actually do what we need to do. So first off, you take two of you, which luckily I have enough. And now for the very fun and not time consuming part. So first off, I need to come over here and make the witch kind of fearful for her life. So you have to damage her a bit. I got weakness that fast? What? And they both work? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Now, very quickly, I need to get rid of all of those, get the witch out of here, away from them, just in case if I need her again in the future. I then need to very quickly get out of there. Woo! get rid of all of that heal myself and now we basically just have to wait and i should probably build a wall so she can't harm the actual villagers i then just stood behind the two zombified villagers not creepily whatsoever and i just waited for them to turn back into villagers oh look at this beautiful sight where are your legs that's a little unsettling also just realize you didn't drop your chainmail armor. Look, I can move him without getting hurt. This is incredible. Now the only downside is now I'm a parent. I have to watch out for these children. So that means we're gonna put them back over here. It's a lot easier to protect them, especially since they don't have any legs. Um, are you okay? And finally, we can go through and remove this very ugly roof. So now very obviously, we gotta protect these legless people. And you can't really do that on a toilet. So I think I actually need to go and build them their own place. But I don't exactly have that many building blocks or at least ones that I wanna use. So instead, let's just use the wood that we have. Oh God, I need to make more dirt. Which I learned from last time from my fork movie. You can actually just turn your dirt and your gravel into coarse dirt. You then take your hoe and then you just right click on all of them. And boom, now I have 28 dirt. And I think you know where this is going going. So obviously there's not that much gravel on the toilet, but there is a lot of gravel in the nether. Probably shouldn't touch the pathway. I feel like that's kind of important to leave. Here you are. Now I wish I could have put silk touch on my shovel, but this should be totally fine. And then now I just stay here and collect a lot of gravel. So I did have the right idea of collecting the gravel here. However, uh, my shovel was almost broken. So um, th this was quick. Okay, there we go. Okay, man. Okay, I'll, I'll admit I kind of hit that one hard. That, that was actually my fault. Okay, gentle, gentle, much better. Okay, now I can go around and collect gravel. Okay, okay. Oh my God, I didn't think this through. Okay, hey, cool. There goes another totem. Wow. Apparently I just don't need these at all. Uh, apparently they just grow on trees. Who would have known uh, digging in the nether was gonna be so dangerous? So after that incredibly fun fire disaster, I was very careful with mining out the rest of the gravel over here, taking my sweet time in. Wow, I am incredibly happy that I did that because this place was very dangerous. Who knew the nether would be? So after finishing this fun gravel area over here, I then flew to a different gravel spot and would you get this? It was actually safe. Like, no, really, it, it was actually safe. So I just kept on mining regardless of how much gravel I collected until my shovel broke, ending up with four stacks of gravel. Of course, I know I don't need this much dirt, it's just I would rather have all this gravel and not have to come back here. Okay, so very luckily we're done here. And now we just have the very fun process of making a lot of coarse dirt. Oh, this is going to take some time. I mean, how long can this 
take, you know? Surely this isn't gonna be that long of a project, right? So in the beginning, I was actually just gonna pillar up and then just turn all the coarse dirt into dirt. And then I kind of remembered, oh yeah, I also have to till it. So that's just gonna be really difficult and annoying. So yeah, I instead swapped over to just making it one block tall and then doing it the old fashioned way. And after several minutes, I started to realize how much dirt I was getting. Who would have guessed? It actually takes a very long time to turn coarse dirt into regular dirt. Also very expensive. And I felt like I was actually gonna finish it today, but there was a lot more than what I was expecting. Plus it was also raining and it was turning nighttime and I really don't wanna risk these villagers dying at all. So I just went to bed. And then I just got back to work for today, ending up with four and a half stacks of dirt. Also went through nearly six hoes, three shovels, and a lot of tears, a lot of tears. However, finally, we should have enough dirt for anything that we wanna do for the remainder of this amazing movie. Now there's two ways that we can go about this. Either I build the bridge starting from here, and then I can also add in grass, which might look very fancy, or I start from over here and then I just bridge out somewhere and then we just have dirt. However, I think we're just gonna build a bridge out from here just so I can get some grass because I would like to make it look pretty because their house is also gonna be right next to the tree farm. So very obviously I'm good on dirt. However, if you look right there, I'm not good on wood. Oh, hey, would you look at that? I have a lot of saplings. Oh, and would you look at that? I have a lot of bone meal. So I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time going around and chopping down trees. And I was honestly expecting this to go faster. So I began the day by chopping down the trees and wow, would you look at that? It's one of the annoying ones. And while chopping down all these trees, it really made me miss that tree chopping mod that I had during the November event. But to make it go along a lot faster because the leaves were becoming an issue, I started to use shears to collect the leaves because well, nah, I think you know why. And then I ended off the day with almost two stacks of wood. So we should be good to start. Ah, beautiful, but that's not beautiful. Ah, much nicer. So it's gonna be really dumb in the beginning because uh, I'm kind of limited on wood right now. Ah, beautiful. So now we have the entire dirt pathway, which it's already working. And then we just wait for the grass to get all the way down here. And then we can actually do some grass designs, but obviously we wanna make this safe. I wouldn't want my poor villagers to ever walk off the edge. And then let's use the fancy lights for this. And then it's totally not because I have a lot of dark oak logs, but if we just go and put stairs down here, there's no drop. Yeah, got it back. Then we just use the dark oak logs. Ooh, fancy. Now we have this very nice little walkway goes up just a little bit and then it's time to make the tree farm. Oh, day 53, how much fun this one was. So at first I thought, oh, I have so much dirt. I could be reckless. And I actually planned out everywhere that all the saplings would go. You know, I wanted to make sure it was all perfect. And then as I kept building, I was like, wow, I'm really running out of dirt. And after filling out this very tiny square, yeah, I'm out of dirt. I have 10 left. But I went around and I can at least have have four saplings of every type. I mean, I guess it's not that bad. However, I might have to go make more dirt and I'm kind of scared to do that because that's really boring and I don't want to do that. I also placed a wooden log block seven blocks above every single sapling because I heard that this will prevent monster trees from spawning and I have no idea if that's true. So this will be entertaining to find out. In the morning, one of the spruce trees grew and I kind of noticed, wow, this one's a lot taller than the other trees. So to be safe, I put the block that's going on top of all the trees to prevent them from growing too tall, one block above. <laughs> I know, it's a genius take. Then I went around and I started to test out every single tree and very luckily, all of them actually grow. Everything's looking perfect. It's amazing. However, until you get to the dark oak tree, you see, you need four saplings and I have three. And I tried my best to see if I can make it grow at all. I even checked my chest and no, I don't have a fourth sapling. The only reason why I'm bringing this up is because I like dark oak. It's a beautiful block and I want to build with it for the villagers house. So yeah, I now have to go around and find one more sapling, which fingers crossed, maybe the aquarium has it. Anyways, I built the last side of the farm just in case if I wanted to extend everything. So at some point we're going to have to get more dirt. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. So before we go over to that, this is so hideous. Much nicer. Now I remember in one of the sections over here, there were a lot of enemies and bad mobs. However, it's like a 
jungle forest area. Please, oh my, we need to light you up very desperately. There's nothing spawn, don't spawn, not yet. Huh, would you look at that? Huh. Uh, it looks a little dangerous over there. Okay, okay, dear, oh my, okay, no jokes. Never mind, I'm sorry. Okay, so I went around and I lit up this entire floor, so we should be safe until they fall down and try to hurt me. He's moving at like Mach 7 speed. Almost there, buddy. There you go. Hi, bye. Now this is really cool because I wasn't expecting to find bamboo in here. And now this is going to help me out tremendously for uh, one of my villagers. Well, hello. Now the only issue that I'm seeing while in here, you know, there's a lot of cool blocks, but there's no dark oak at all. Oh. Ooh, nice. But at the very least, I'm getting a lot of very pretty blocks that I could build with. Plus, I'm sure digging with my food is a very good, wise decision. Hi, bud. I need your balls. Aw, you already had a vasectomy. <laughs> oh, that's how you enter the fun playpen. Ah, hey, what's up, boys? Wow, this, oh my gosh. Wow, that, oh dear God, that, uh, uh. Ooh, might not be all lost. Oh, well, no doubt dark oak. I mean, there is one more chance. It's just, I kind of really doubt it'll have it. Oh, huh. I totally forgot that tree was here. I thought I chopped this down back in the beginning. Oh, huh. Well, that was awkward. Oh, why, hello there. I forgot to press record while beginning the day. So I just noticed I didn't have a totem of undying in my hand for the past six days. And I went through and I just started the bamboo farm. Uh, that was basically it. Oh, and I got organized. So now we can go up here and hello, beautiful. No, 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 I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about you. Okay, so we can get a nice refill on some dark oak logs. Why are you taking so long? Because I'm using a shovel, not an ax. Okay, uh, ignore that. Give me saplings. Please, pretty please. Oh, yes, yes, we got two. Okay, phew. Whew, we can actually make a dark oak tree farm. Okay, so we'll go check out the angel in just a second. And then let's go back over here. I'm really hoping I have enough space. <laughs> to actually grow these. Okay, please tell me you're gonna grow. Oh, yes! And there's enough space. Oh, yes, there's an- Okay, no, except for that one. But yes, there's enough space. It's just, wow, this place is really compact and not roomy whatsoever. Okay. Okay, so let's go through and actually harvest all of this. Yeah, chopping down these trees, I really miss that tree cutting mod. <laughs> like, tremendously miss it. So I spent the rest of the night going around and cleaning up all the trees and trying to get rid of all the leaves. And then after giving up on that, I just went and I took care of all my wheat. Now there's one thing that's becoming a little worrisome for me. Uh, I'm not getting any more dark oak saplings. Uh, they they kind of don't like to drop them at all for whatever reason. It's probably an issue with the trees not decaying. So I should actually probably just go around and just cancel the growth of any tree. Oh, there we are. And then I also still believe that if you break the leaves, it has a less chance of actually dropping anything for you. So since I actually need to stay over here and I make sure that I pick up every single sapling, let's go around and work on the lighting for this. Now I've never really knew the best way to do this, but I think if we just go to every other sapling and then we just give them their own lantern, then that should be good. Come on, little buddy. You can do it. You can go to that block. Did I leave a block near or something? Why, why are you taking so long? No, don't tell me it's because of the blocks up there. Now, this is taking a little bit too long. Hmm, probably a good reason. I probably shouldn't have used logs and I probably should have used like stone bricks bricks or cobblestone or oak. Oh, would you look at that? It's finally decaying. Okay, we need to go and swap out those blocks. And just because we have so much of it, I guess we could just use black concrete. Might look good. Okay, this should be perfect now. So now that this is all finally done, we can just remove all these blocks, let the trees grow again. Oh, and then just pray that they actually drop saplings because we actually haven't made any progress whatsoever. <laughs> Anyways, regarding that, let's go check out this lovely creeper, which I'm so positive nothing's gonna blow up in here or try to kill me. Hello, what's below you? Oh, okay. Huh, okay. So, wow. No. Oh, no. 
Oh, there's 100% gonna be a pressure plate somewhere and this is all gonna blow up. Okay, so I'm actually a trained surgeon, so we need to remove his frontal cortex and steal its lanterns inside of the head. That's very important. A lot of doctors will actually forget to do that. It's the number one leading cause to hair loss. Ooh, oh, oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. And thank you for the free lanterns. I really do appreciate this. You see, this is really weird doing all this because I never expected myself to go down on a creeper. I mean, a, a little bizarre. There were no traps for the TNT to go off. Oh, well, hello, beautiful number two. Sweet. I mean, I guess thank you for all the TNT. I don't really know what else to say. Except thank you. Wow. Maybe I should have came here a lot earlier. I didn't expect it to be so generous and have so many gifts for me. Now, I just want to check around, around the body just to see if there's anything else because I kind of don't believe that that was everything. Like, I, I'm just finding it a little hard to believe that. Okay, maybe I should have just believed that because I didn't out realize how hollow this place is. Well, I mean, not bad at all. Wow, that is a lot of flint and steels. And we at least got a nice new bow. Yeah, I don't really see anything else from that creeper. And I believe we actually went around to every single island and we've actually seen everything in the game so far, except for this lovely, beautiful room. I also don't think that we've actually checked out everything inside of the tank as well. Ow. Oh, hey, look, an actual secret room that I actually didn't mean to go into. I was just trying to get a nice shot. Hey, all right. However, I will happily take your iron. Don't mind if I do and the copper and the cashmere. Why do I hear lava right here? Hello? Any lava over here? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, um, okay. I mean, this is a little awkward because I'm kind of full, but, um, <laughs> wow. I mean, this is a really cool find, but actually, where's the lava? <laughs> And time to get organized again. Surely there's gonna be good loot, so we might as well go back. Please make it. Yoo-hoo, lava. Oh, I didn't make any torches. Oops. Yeah, I definitely need those. Is it down? Hello. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. <gasps> hey, look, it's the spider cave back at the beginning of the movie that I can never enter. Wow, this is totally gonna go well. Oh, my. Hello. hello. You see, I don't want to say it yet because I really don't want to jinx it. Phew. Okay, yeah, where are the spiders? Like, nothing spawned in here, and it's really weird. <gasps> no. Oh, no, my sword. Oh, and I actually really like that sword. Oh, I was planning on keeping it for the entire movie. No. Oh, hello. Oh, that sucks. Hey, do you have a sword in here? Like a really nice one. Why can I not open you? Oh, hello. Now you see, I can't really go around and explore this place as I uh, don't have a sword. Yeah, you just stay right there. Thank you. No, no, no. Go back, back in there. Stop trying to leave it. Yeah, a little bit more, a little bit, a little bit more. No, no, no little bit more. Okay, here. Can you hold this for me? Thank you. <laughs> no, I heard a creeper. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Oh, oh. Nope, you didn't see anything. I don't know who did that. Ow, it wasn't me. Oh man, the good memories of what I could do with this thing. And I would mine out all the diamonds right here, but I kind of want to wait until I can get some kind of a fortune on my pick so I can get more of those. Oh, I just, I can't believe I wasn't paying attention to my sword. Oh, I didn't want to lose that. Oh, that set me back a lot. Oh, hey, look, it's my old sword. <laughs> Did you attack the horse? It's a passive mob. Why are you so mean? So I'm going to be needing a whole lot of sticks. So before I even go and I build their farm or farm their house, should probably stay on top of all the bamboo and make sure that I can actually uh, get a lot of these so we could be really, really fast with it. Especially since by the time I actually make the house and we get all the villagers going, uh, I'm not really going to be having too many days left, which I think that should be enough. I should also probably connect this with the bridge over there just so I can have more than just one pathway to get up here. Oh god, I almost fell off. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. And then, boom, boom. Okay, that's not how you're supposed to go. And then I'm sure this is not going to be annoying whatsoever, but we'll put all the villagers over here. And then I don't want to make it too difficult to get here because I already know they're going to be a massive pain. They still don't have any legs. So here's how you fix it because I kind of made this even and I hate building on anything that's even because then you can't make like one single door or have kind of a center of a building. So you make the left or the right side even and then you make the right side odd you just go up by just one block it's a very little detail but it really helps out a lot oh that's kind of an issue when you're building with wood and then you run out of wood um hey luigi look at that the tree farms right here except i really wish that it was bigger because that would actually help out a lot more yeah, yeah, this is gonna take a while. Ultimately, to save us time, we should really probably extend this so we can add in a lot more trees. I would 
probably be the smartest decision. Oh, but I really don't want to. I should have chosen to build this out of dark oak. <laughs> it would have been a lot smarter than using oak. Also, I guess I don't have to extend it. I could just use, you know, the grass around here. However, it does help to have bone meal. So we're going to be needing a whole lot more wood for this. Do you guys mind just jumping off and falling? And it's going to take way too long for all the trees over here to grow. Oh, hey, look at that. Wow, there's grass everywhere where I could just plant trees. What? I ran around the very lavish land of grass that I own, and I placed down as many trees as I could fit on the entire map. After that, I just went around and started to chop down all those trees, which I'm hoping this is all the wood that I'm going to be needing for the house. Also, the trees like to have this very weird invisible glitch when I bone mail them. Okay, now we can finish this. And then I would like to use grass up here. I think it would look best, but I don't want to waste a lot of time on building. I kind of want to do a lot of objectives. So we'll just fill the ground up with oak planks. Ah, beautiful. Except if there's one thing about villagers, they're worse than children. And I already know that if they get out of this house, they're gonna fall right off the edge quite proudly. So that's where leaves come in. Next up, what we can do is go around to all of the leaf parts. This looks wrong. However, I don't think we're gonna be focusing on the fences that much, so it should be fine. I just really want to be able to put down lanterns. So much nicer. And then we're not gonna be having that many villagers, I don't think. So we can make a fairly tiny house like this. And then here's the basic size of the house please grow please i probably shouldn't have placed all of the trees so close with each other probably would have been a smart decision to actually space them out a bit oh hey look the grass is up here finally because so next up i'm gonna be needing a lot of birch oh my god it's not gonna grow yeah oh boy all the trees are too close with each other oh no they just don't want to grow in general okay oh no are those too short oh they are oh cool okay well time to go through and uh raises up by one there you go no i just dropped you all down okay so if i'm lucky and all of these trees can just not grow the leaves can disappear that'd be amazing anyways i should have enough birch logs to actually do what i want here so once again for anyone that cares about building this is just my personal take on anything even in like real life architecture if you have something dark i like to balance it out with something light i like the contrast between them it just it usually always looks really pretty to me however i don't like the spicy white concrete granite so if we strip it it looks a lot nicer however now these don't look too nice. Oh, wow, okay. I was actually expecting a like a very drastic change. Wow, that really doesn't do anything. Huh, huh. I don't know why I was expecting that to go a lot lighter. <laughs> I mean, I guess to also make everything fit in, we can strip this as well. Yeah, I kind of like the strip look. Makes it look a lot cleaner. Next up, here's a really stupid question. Can I smelt red sand? Oh, I can. Does it turn into like red glass or something? Oh, huh. I think that's my first time ever actually doing that. And then while those are all smelting, I might as well go through and uh, deal with all of this because I am going to be needing a lot of bread for these little munchkins right here. And then I should also probably harvest this because I am super low on rock. Eh, we have enough glass. So we turn it into you. Then we add him here. You know, it's a tiny cute building. It's definitely not one of my best. <laughs> Okay, it's time to speed up this bad boy along. I finished up the glass walls and then I got to work on the floor as it's really boring inside and I don't really like how it looks down there. So I then swapped in some dark oak logs down there and then I stripped them. After that, I got to work on the staircase, which I think I placed it in a right spot. It's just the house is a lot tinier than what I was expecting. So we're gonna need multiple floors most likely just so we can actually have a lot of villagers. You'll probably also notice that um, no, I, I didn't fall off the map <laughs> once <laughs> or twice. No, 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 I fell off the map three times. Um, I don't know how. I thought I'd mention that because I figured you'd all find it very funny and type LOL in the comments or something. I then got really distracted with the traveling villager. You see, obviously I really wanted the leads, but the llamas were having a very fun time standing right on the edge of the map. But after collecting those without killing the llamas, I then trapped the villager inside the house. Because why not? <laughs> 
So today I started off with doing some chores. I cut down some of the trees because believe it or not, I'm low on wood again. So after I attempted to get some wood, I also cooked some of the cobblestone to turn it into stone bricks just so I could use it as a border for the second floor. And everything was going well. It's just I have to wait for the stone to cook and now I also have to wait for the trees to grow. As for the house, it's basically going to be mirrored for every single floor going up and then I'm going to try and make the outside look good once I'm done building everything. I tried to do everything that I could for the house today, but I'm waiting on glass to smelt and I'm also out of a lot of the wood that I need. So I just tended to the trees. It was a very fun chore day. One thing I want to know, if you guys could leave this in the comments down below, do you mind if I use that tree mod that I used during November where you just break one wooden log and then the entire tree just explodes and then you get all of the logs and saplings and everything? I'm only asking this just because it really speeds up everything so I can do more in these videos, but I kind of want to see everyone's opinion. Luckily, all the glass finished and I had enough wood to almost finish floor three. Th this is going to be the final one, so we're almost done very luckily. The only thing now... <sighs> I have to wait for my stone to cook again because I kind of lost track on that and I forgot to put it in the furnace. But anyways, in lighter news, the traveling villager is still with us. <laughs> and then finally, day 69. Stop laughing. I got to work as fast as I could because I really want to finish this house. We're almost on day 70. So I didn't spend too long on the roof. To be frank, I don't really care too much about this building. I just want to get it done very fast just so we can get to trading even faster so I can hopefully get to what I want to do. Once the entire building was done, I then went around with some oak fences and I tried to at least make the outside look a little bit good. And then of course I went around and I put oak leaves around the entire base of it. And now the villager trading house is basically done. Oh boy. I hope you legless villagers are ready to move into your nice mansion. So very quickly before it even turns nighttime, because that's when I'm going to actually move them all over. I need to get organized. Now, very luckily I've kind of been preparing for this. Not really. But hello, sheep. Oh my god. No, no. Get back in. <sighs> At the very least, at least I have leads. Okay, where's the other one? You, you, no, 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 no freedom, no. Okay, I need you to go back into the pen, in, into the, into the pen, into the pen, into the, okay. Oh, why am I doing this for a chicken? Okay, there you go, perfect, perfect. Now for you, please come onto my very nice bridge. Yes, walk the plank. Okay, go back in, there you go. Anyways, now to make a lot of beds, and then we just need to go around and start in all of them and this should be good in the beginning because as time goes on i'm just going to be moving some of the villagers out of here so i don't really need that many beds the important part is going to be removing a lot of these oh yeah and that should be good oh i need to get rid of you now instead of actually driving them or commanding the boat whatever you want to call it all the way to the house what i'm hoping is going to happen is that i break your boat and then you walk over there right you're going to make this nice and easy right right now at the very least i'm just going to get the boats a lot closer to it but I don't want to get it too close because, um, yeah, I really have no faith in you guys. I have a strong feeling you're going to walk off the edge. Alrighty, now we just have to wait for nighttime, you two. Okay, this should actually be night enough for them. Another very easy way to do this if you have trouble actually bringing your villagers any places. Don't run into the- hello? hello? Where are you? Why are you trying to go to her? No, no. Look, as I was saying, this usually makes the villagers follow you. Come, come here, buddy. Look, yeah, yeah, you like this, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, you're actually going to the house? Oh, sweet. I don't have to encourage you at all. Let's see. Do you do the same thing? Yes. Yes. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh my God. Not to the zombie. I know you may miss them, but please. Oh my God. Please just go to the house. Where are you going? Oh my God. Please just go to the house. Yes, yes. There you go. Oh my god, I hate these. Oh my god, I, I hate villagers. I hate villagers. Oh my god. Where? What are you doing? Come on. No, 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 no. In. In the house. No. In there. Where are you going? No. Oh, oh. In the house. Get in there. No, no, no. I'm. I swear. Oh my. I want to smack you so badly. Where are you going? Just go to the beds. No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh. There is no way any of you can wonder why I hate villagers. But very thankfully, because of the carpet right here and the blocks, you can never escape and be very annoying again. Yeah, I'm talking about you two. I, I hate both of you. And now I get a snuggle in between them both. Yeah, boop. I don't think he... Oh, okay. We're... Oh, hi. You're definitely an interesting fellow. Please, just, just, just come here, please. <laughs> this is gonna take us forever. <gasps> oh, thank you. Well, at this rate, uh, I think we're completely good with ender pearls. So 
So whenever I'm ready, we can go and fight the dragon. Anyways, there we go. Okay, so first up, we need to make some fletching tables. I'm pretty positive that's the one where I can sell them sticks. Oh, you who who wants some jobs? Yeah, yeah, you both like that, don't you? Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's not what I want. That is what I want. What? Why are you so... I thought that'd be a lot lower. I thought that'd be like one stick per emerald. Okay, wait, we need to lock him in. There we go. And then we just need to lock in the second villager. And then now we are completely good on emeralds. This is actually the first time I've ever cured a zombified villager. Their trades aren't the worst. But now we have to go and begin the fun and uh we're very limited on time first we need some bread and some blocks to block the door then we have to feed the little honey muffins block the door from any kind of baby being born and wanting to escape are you do you guys not like bread it's not that bad what did i throw it in the wrong spot or something take its bread what what do you not like okay what you don't want me to watch or something um hmm, this can be an issue maybe they want potatoes no i don't like bread i'm gonna be a picky eater <laughs> okay you don't like bread do you like potatoes? I'm so confused. Why is this not working? Do I have to like right click you with it or something? Oh, you want me to drop it like this? Here. Is this better for you? Is your inventory full? I have no idea what to do. Oh, uh, and this is going to put a lot of uh, dents in my plans. I guess in the meantime, I'll just go around and tend to the farm. Okay, so I actually fixed it and um, I kind of had to cheat. I had to go into the game files because apparently with them, the map creator had mob griefing turned to false and apparently it has to be true for them to pick up any kind of food item so now uh creepers can blow up the land they can actually deal damage again which i i still don't know why that was turned off i probably should have turned that back on a lot sooner it's just i always forgot about it but now there we go now they pick up food okay and now we're going to be having a lot of little gremlins Psst. Guys, I dropped more food at the front door. You should go get it or make babies or do something. I, I need a lot of villagers uh, kind of really fast, if you don't mind. Come on, it's good bread. Come on, come on, please take it, please. I insist. Take it. Take the bread. Thank you. Now, while they're having all the fun, I need to start harvesting the bamboo. And uh, I kind of obviously don't want to use my actual sword. So that's why we go and use up all of our old ones and we make new. Oh, wow, that really did not last that long. So per harvest, it takes two stone swords and now i need to start mass producing sticks because these two wonderful people if they would ever start reproducing are gonna help me get unlimited diamonds okay is it an issue with the bed placement is it really shouldn't be taking this long it was the bed placement okay well i'm happy i figured that out really fast oh look you can see my future iron farm and please stop giving the baby food it's a waste i think wait can you tell me in the comments down below if you give one of the baby villagers food doesn't it just disappear over time or like they just never use it or do they just hold on to it until they're adults also should probably stay on top of this definitely going to be needing a lot of food and now that i've unlimited emeralds what's up twins and what's up beautiful thank you but now goodbye iron and hello diamond and probably should repair you <laughs> so now we got multiple goals for today no 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 oh my god no you're no oh jesus oh my no 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 no, no, no. Oh, God. I thought the baby was going to make it out. Okay. Holy hell. That scared me. Okay. First up, we have to stay on top of trading with them because I'm going to be needing as many emeralds as I can get, which that ain't bad, especially just off of two of them. I only need a couple more diamonds for my tools and then I should actually be good, but I also want to make an enchanting table. So that also means I'm going to have to be camping over here at the mob farm for as long as I can while the bamboo grows and while the villagers breed just so I can get more XP so I can enchant all of my stuff. Hi, editing sky here uh my recording software didn't record my microphone for the next three days really awesome so for today i just tended to my farm i then expanded the villager hut and added in more beds in there i then got some more emeralds from them which i bought some diamonds which i then went and i made the remaining diamond tools that i need next up i actually want to enchant them surprisingly so i went to the meteor i got some obsidian from there and then i went back home to make the enchanting table the next day i got to work on actually making the books for it and then i actually crafted the enchanting table. Next, I made a lectern so I can finally get some librarians, which will lead to me actually getting the enchantments that I specifically want, which I can't lie, I 
don't know what I was going for here. I really want to say protection four because I know that the villagers over at the desert island can actually sell me mending, which I just did this for the entire day. And then for day 76, I just started it off with chores and making some sticks, getting emeralds, you know. Then I got to work on making the enchanting area. This will surprise you as well. I ran out of wood, so I was chopping down a lot of trees for today. Has it always been this difficult to get dark oak saplings? Because I still don't really have any in my storage areas and it seems to be really difficult regardless i now actually have enough wood to finish the enchanting area over here okay i might have spoke way too soon i wasn't expecting it to be this difficult <laughs> But I also very much so need to stay on top of this. Like sometimes, okay, wow, like that. Like sometimes these trees actually want to grow. The other times they're like, no, what? No, wait, now you want to? I don't understand you. I also wonder if I should have raised up the blocks that block the trees from growing too tall, like another block or two, because as nice as it is, like chopping down trees this fast, uh, I kind of wouldn't mind getting more than just four or five logs per tree. And there we go. Now our very beautiful platform that's probably way too ginormous is finally done oh i also built it off center oh that's annoying regardless yeah yeah we're gonna be needing a lot more bookshelves that means we're gonna have a lot of business oh god i need to do so much trading with them i mean at least i can also use wood to just turn it into sticks and sell with them so it's not the worst please drop saplings please i don't know why dark oak is the hardest thing ever to actually get saplings for anyways while the bamboo grows we do have a lot of dark oak and it's really not not that hard to get a lot of it so now i can get a lot of sticks this way <laughs> oh god wait can you please get away from the door no one come to the door don't come to the door don't come to the door i see you running oh god a little heathens all of them huh not bad i could use some of the string from the mob farm and you yeah i'm gonna need all of the oh my god that was only three. Oh man this is gonna be a whole lot of work oh god now of course i could just make a lot of you and just get every single kind of book that i want for enchanting but one, that takes way too much time. And two, I haven't actually used an enchanting table in like a year, possibly two years. So I think it'd be kind of fun to try this way out again. But now instead of just sitting around and doing nothing while we just wait for more books, I could probably make the iron farm pretty rapidly. They're really not that difficult. And I do have the wood for it. Oh no, I can't use wood. Oh no. Uh, we can make a really butt ugly one. So if I just use every single kind of stone block that I have. Oh, this is going to be hideous. So I do have a husk spawn egg. And I wonder if that would work instead of a regular zombie, because that would save me a ton of time. And I don't think it matters. I think any kind of zombie should actually work. I mean, we'll test it out. I'm, I'm down to see what happens. And it's totally not because I'm impatient at all or anything. Okay, so without depleting myself of too much iron, I can make 48 rails. And I think this should be good enough. It's going to be incredibly bare bones and really not put together too well. And very luckily, I actually don't have to worry about too much spawn proof. Thing. So this time we'll just keep it all the same level and then we'll just uh, build our way out as I'm invisible again. So now I just need to go through and complete up the platform. And now comes the fun part. I don't want to use a tutorial for this because you see, it's just so much more fun if I try it out myself. Plus I have a feeling I can figure it out. I mean, I did come up with my own design on the one by one growing border 100 days movie, which I recommend seeing if you haven't already. So down here, this is going to be the collection area. There'll be a hopper going here. Here. Wait, is this centered? There you are. Now you're centered. And then we're gonna have to have the roller coaster go up. And the main goal is that I want them to be high enough to where I don't need to spawn proof the area down here. So I'm hoping by making it super duper tall is that uh, we'll be completely fine. So let's see. I need to start pre-planning with all of the rails. I need to see if I actually have to make more. Wow, what a shocker. That didn't even make it to the roller coaster. Well, I hope this isn't a waste. That's all the iron that I have. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, I do have an iron farm right here. I'm sorry, buddy. I need it. I, I, I need your iron. I'm sorry. No. Oh, move. Okay, buddy. Okay. Your reach is a little, it's a little admirable, but unlucky for you. I have a lot of arrows. Why? Are, oh, that's right. Yeah. I don't know why, but mobs really do not like moving over rails. Really don't get it. Oh, hey, look, I have five more iron now. Oh, we're so close. Hey, can you guys spawn in another? I, oh, hey, wait. Hey, look at that. There's another. Okay. Thank you. I just need a little bit more iron to complete the roller coaster. Let me guess. You're not going to step up. 
over that? Yeah, that's right, because you're chicken. Oh my god, he stepped over it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. I know your ego's very fragile. I'm sorry. I know toxic masculinity. Okay, this is a little awkward. Um, You kind of have a lot of health. Okay, thank you. I still don't get why some of my arrows will go through mobs. And perfect. Of course, I know I could just break some of the rails over here and then put them up there once I get them out of this section. But let's be honest with ourselves. I'm probably going to use all of these rails for something insane in the future. So on day 80, I finally got to work on the iron farm actual part. So I built a little platform for them and then I kind of planned it out just to have all the villagers just in one little section and then to have the husk on the other side of it while giving the villagers some walking room. I put glass walls around the entire place just so they don't have any privacy at all and they feel extra vulnerable. Then I spawned in the husk and I name tagged him. Luckily, he didn't catch on fire at all. I made sure to be very careful with that. The entire day while building this farm, I also kept an eye over at the villagers hut just to see when an iron golem would spawn in, killing it and then I got up to 11 iron for the entire day. In the morning, I had to go and tend to the sheep just to get some wool for beds and I had to do a little bit of chores. But now everything should be ready for the villagers inside of the iron farm, which I went through and I started to get them ready. And very luckily, the first one was super easy. I specified the first one because the second and third one were a nightmare. You see, I got the second one into the boat and then three villagers noticed that the front door is open and they wanted to beeline it out of there. So then the third villager got into the boat and then there was a fourth villager that I was trying for a couple of seconds, maybe like 30 seconds to get it back into the building. Once that was finally done, I then sent off the two villagers to the iron farm and now we're completely done with them. And then luckily with the three villagers tucked nicely in their penthouse, I went through and for the first time in my life, I removed a roller coaster. I would have left it up, but I don't really want to chance an iron golem to spawn on there, even though I'm pretty sure they won't just because rails count as air blocks. So I was going to get back to building the farm. Trust me, I'm totally into that, but I had to go and tend to my other farms, which speaking of those, I don't know why, but I just realized that my sugarcane farm, the little pond there, it's a heart. <laughs> and then once all of those were done, I went and said hi to an iron golem that totally did not almost kill me because I'm dumb. After that, I then went back to the iron farm and I attempted to make a kill zone for the iron golem, which honestly, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this because for some reason, working with water really confuses me and I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, so next up, so I can actually complete the iron farm. Hello, gorgeous. Dang it. <laughs> Thought I'd be able to do a cool trick shot for it. There we go. Oh, man, this is gonna suck. Yeah, all those signs. Uh, at least I didn't fall into the void. Okay. Ow. Why did I fall? <laughs> Perfect. Once I placed down all the signs, which honestly, I was really surprised that it worked because I've never tried this kind of a format with signs before. I actually just got this from YouTube. I know, I know. I said I wasn't going to use a tutorial. I didn't. I just looked at some videos for ideas. <laughs> However, I got the kill part of the farm down, I believe. So I'm hoping that all of this actually works. And the next up, we just need to work on the collection area, which I started tonight. So first, I just want to show you this just because I'm really proud of myself. When I was going to go back and continue making the farm, I started shooting one of the iron golems and then I ran out of arrows. And then I somehow managed to get to one of my chest, find arrows, and then finish off the iron golem. Just wanted to show that. Very proud of myself. Anywho, after finishing the second iron golem, because I can't slack on iron, I then went over to the collection area, put in one hopper, put down blocks, added in water, blah, blah, blah. I had to make it as cheap as possible because I don't have that many hoppers, which in the future, I'll most likely start to upgrade this because I have a feeling that this isn't going to work so well. But the moment we've all been waiting for, I landed right next to the zombie. I broke the block and then I waited and waited. And um, yeah, it really wasn't looking good. I suppose I should have brought a glass of wine and some flowers because no matter what I was doing, this farm would not turn on. And then I kind of came to a conclusion that it's most likely because the roof is only one block thick. Maybe it has to be two or three. So hey, let's try it out. To make it a lot easier, I collected the lava and then I put that over the running water just to add in as many blocks as I can for the second layer just to save me on resources. So I got to placing down more blocks and breaking all the fences and I was cleaning up the machine and making it all pretty and I figured I fixed it until I kind of noticed that there's no iron golem still spawning. So I 
just waited and waited and towards the end of the night i was like yep it's still not fixed so i just started preparing for the next day and i removed basically everything that i just put down in the morning i had to go and tend to the bamboo in some of my farms because honestly i wasn't expecting this iron farm to take so long to make i really thought it would have taken me like three days so speaking of the farm i got back back over there and um whew, man are things dire you see i'm completely out of stone like i'm almost out of any kind of block that i can use to actually build so yeah things are not looking good i might actually have to make a cobblestone farm very soon <laughs> However, the same thing happened tonight where I'm almost done rebuilding it and I'm still not seeing any iron golems at all. Multiple things that I think could be the issue is that maybe I'm not building a pathway far enough away from the villagers for an iron golem to spawn. Maybe it will never spawn on top of them. I honestly don't know. But regardless of the iron golems not showing up whatsoever, I just figured let's just finish it. I've spent so many days on this farm, regardless if I can get it to work or not, we really need to continue before it's day 100 and well after i finished it i kind of just got organized i did some trading with them villagers and i kept peeking over at the iron farm and there was just nothing my only guess is that maybe i didn't build a platform on top big enough i might have built it seven by eight but i'm pretty sure i did an eight by eight but anyways if anyone knows how to fix this or can tell me what i did wrong i'd greatly appreciate it so yeah after spending like 10 days on that farm we just have to give it up if i do 200 days then you know we'll definitely fix that will make it actually work but regardless it's time to get back on the emerald grind plus very luckily i was doing a little bit of trading while building that iron farm so we should be able to get some bookshelves oh oh no wait oh no way i could do the level 30 enchantments oh sweet oh i thought that was gonna take so much more well now i just need to hit level 30 probably a little bit more wow i'm really close to level 30 which i now just realized um i probably should have built the enchanting area like right here here. <laughs> I spent the next couple of minutes just with AFKing over at the mob farm just so I can get a little bit more XP just so I can go and enchant one of my items. So I have a little bit of daylight left, I think, but I don't want to throw away the day just yet. Please? Oh, oh, wow. Okay, uh, let's go get a book. Uh, as much as I would love knockback. Whew, I, I love me some knockback. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, I tried any more XP. Okay, so it's probably going to be wiser if I just stay over here until I'm like, level 33 34 because then i can at least do a couple level 30 enchantments and then if you guys want me to do 200 days on this leave a comment down below then i'll just make an xp farm in the end yeah especially after waiting an entire day and this thing is still incredibly slow i got a feeling i'm gonna be making an xp farm in the end ah uh, bright and early day to go and wait <laughs> Now, I wonder if I stand this far back, is that going to make them spawn in even faster? I think I've been here for two minutes and I still don't even see one enemy. Uh, hello? So there's actually one thing I've been forgetting to do. And it's also the reason why I built that mob farm kind of that way. And that would be ladders. Because then if I go right here and I break you. Oh, hello there, spider. And I have a feeling that as I AFK here longer and longer, that's actually one of the reasons why it's so slow is because spiders like to camp right there. And then it slowly takes up the entire mob count. Okay, we're level 32. Obviously, I'm going to be needing a whole lot more, but I'm really impatient. Please be good, please. <sighs> wow. I don't think that could have been any worse. <laughs> Right, we're gonna move the grindstone over there because at least then i can keep on retrying wow okay let's just go with sharpness too oh cool it's only sharpness too and then we'll just afk over here just a little bit more yeah this is unreasonably slow i think we need to try out something different to get some xp or else i'm never going to finish anything before the end of the movie and then now thinking about it i don't know why i stopped doing anything with these why hello there spawners okay now don't be too scared okay now if you guys want to start spawning in i wouldn't be opposed sweep so very obviously i can die this way it's a lot more dangerous blah 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 so when i first started camping out on top of the fish tank i thought i was actually screwed you see they weren't spawning in whatsoever they're taking forever that was until i started camping in the center and then both sides started actually coming at me and then i ran into multiple issues first off i'm almost completely out of food and we're really close to having to fight the ender dragon two my sword is basically broken i have five durability ability left on it and third yeah this one's important um i have the bad omen number two 
I didn't know that they could actually spawn in with the flags, but I can't go back home now or else I'm gonna trigger a raid. So now there's one last option that I can do. Well, almost everything's destroyed. I'm almost completely out of food and we actually, we have to make this very fast. I have one pork chop left. Okay, we got the raid. Gotta be very fast. I'm gonna take one just to be safe. Uh, do I have any kind of food? That's raw. That's raw. We'll take the carrots. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. So the raid did spawn in, but as soon as I go into the nether, it'll kind of pause. Okay, so very luckily, the villagers will actually be safe. They have the iron golems and they're locked away in a house. They shouldn't be able to breach them. Then we just fly back this direction. And this way we can actually still farm for XP, but most importantly, I can farm these guys. Oh, please don't go in the lava, please. As you see, if I just light it on fire with my arrows, I now have cooked meat. Whew. And all is well. Now I just need to find a whole lot of hoglins so I can get a whole lot of food. Hi, that is a lot of you in there. Okay, there goes my sword. Oh, Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Hello. Wait. Okay. Well, now I have to use my diamond sword. Yep. Goodbye. Don't like any of you. Ow. No. Get closer. Thank you. Okay. Go in lava. Thank you. Bye bye. Won't miss you. Oh my god, it's another child. Hi. Go away. Don't hit me. Oh, he's leading me into every single enemy. Get back here. God, I hate babies. Oh, you guys are so annoying. Get back here. Why are you so tanky? There you go. Just eradicated a child. Feeling great. Hello, Govna. Oh god, it's a miner. Oh, hi. Oh god, you attack back. You attack. Oh god, you you have no issue attacking. Oh, I'm in danger. Oh my god, I actually am in danger. Okay, so we're finally good on food for this movie and possibly the next one if I were to do that. Um, Yeah, let's just take off now. See you later. Don't ever call. I'm not going to spawn uh i have no idea where my portal is by the way like I, I am completely lost if i had to guess i'm going to assume this direction though no oh no so maybe if i'm lucky it's this way wait this looks familiar oh <gasps> yes oh just like every day of my life i'm so excited to see you toilet <laughs> So very luckily, I can actually enchant some of my stuff now. At least twice. And hello, world. Uh, oh, no. Do not go towards that house, please. No. Oh, well, one just fell and died. Hi, boys. Yeah, can you get away from the house? Oh, my God. They can actually shoot. Oh, God. They can actually get inside and shoot. Yeah, no. You get off. Yeah. Oh, trick shot. Bye, bye. You know what? Maybe this won't be so bad. Okay. Wait. I, I lied. Where are they? Oh. Gotcha. You guys are on the septic tank snorting some poo-poo. There you go. Yeah, get off. Okay, so I won't lie. Um... I don't, oh, you guys landed in the water and came back up? Wow, that's actually really impressive. I can't even lie. I can't believe you guys actually MLG water bucketed. And a boop, and boop. There's an entire underside of the map. Didn't even realize that. You see, when I started the raid, I thought it was going to be a lot more eventful. Oh, hi, I found you guys. Yeah, I didn't know that I was going to be playing hide and seek. Oh my God, that's so many witches. And we go boop. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, oh, Go away. Oh no, you're destroying all my crops. I, I don't have any arrows. I won't lie. Having an iron golem sure would be useful. Man, if only I had a building of people that could just spawn them in. Oh my God, they're all dying. Oh my Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, uh, Jesus. Uh, uh, I'm being chased by ugly men. Uh, this feels exactly like an anime convention. Oh, don't shoot me. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh my God. I really hope he did not kill my library at least everyone please go back upstairs please uh you know what i'm gonna go, i'm gonna go nappy oh no 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 that's a big cow outside oh get away no this is the uh this is the woman's dorm not the men's oh god excuse me the oh my god no he's destroying everything oh i need arrows i need arrows i need arrows arrow arrow arrow, arrow. thank you oh my god he's just going around destroying all of my hard work oh hey i'll see you later buddy it was a good fight he destroyed everything <laughs> That took me hours. No, I'm just kidding. So note to self, Mr. Moomoo's do not like leaf blocks. Uh, bless you. Oh, sweet. I wasn't planning on doing a raid, but hey, I'll happily take it. Ooh, so what's down here? Oh, I guarantee you there's loot. Hello there. Beautiful house you have. If I could enter it. Whoa, this is so trippy. I thought that was villager spawn eggs and I was going to be really angry. <laughs> This is actually so cool. I don't know if the map creator is going to see this video, but honestly, you did such a good job with the map. So after going through that raid and being heavily heroic, I just got organized for the rest of the day. Okay, so we can go through and we'll just fix all the leaves later. However, now I can actually enchant my stuff. Wow, I am never lucky. <laughs> wow, that's even worse. I'm just going to do a little bit more farming just so I can get some more XP and then I can enchant my diamond boots at least. Oh, yoo-hoo. I'm really hoping none of you with flags spawn. 
spawn in. Or I hope any of you can spawn in. There we are. Oh my gosh. Here, I need you to actually go towards the edge. Yeah. Now I need to show you something really cool. It's called the void. So apparently getting the flag bearers are actually not that rare. Okay, this is really weird. We're not supposed to be fighting in here. This is starting to feel a little bit too romantic for me. Okay. 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 Yep. Uh, see you guys later. Was fun. Not really. <laughs> Oh, yep. Nope, nope, nope. Don't don't come over here, please. Hi, it's me again. Um, I have no idea what happened on day 96 for the recording part. You see, I actually did press record and it only recorded about eight seconds. And that's it. I also didn't talk during this. <laughs> for the most part today, I just did a lot of farming over at the fish tank, but I don't really know what happened today or why I don't have a recording for it. So I'm um, sorry. Okay, so we can enchant our boots. Oh, Oh my god oh jesus oh oh god oh my okay well uh honestly let's do this and let me just grind stone it we then go afk at the mob farm because honestly this is a lot safer and probably a little bit faster than over there we then get back to level 30 we then go back to the enchanting table oh my god <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can actually do one more refresh. Please, something other than fire protection. Well, hopefully it's not just this. Oh, this game hates me. And sadly, we don't have the time to actually keep on getting back up to level 30 and then retrying everything. So I'll take efficiency two on breaking one. Okay, wow, that's actually not the worst. That's the worst. However, now I have all diamond everything. We then need to chop down the bamboo, get more sticks, because I'm going to need a lot of emeralds this is why i like automatic farms oh i wish i had some we then need to quickly go and sell all of our sticks oh this is huge oh i didn't know that they could buy string oh i actually have some too it's not much but i need all of the emeralds that i can get we then take our 52 emeralds and then we buy as many mending books as we can get <laughs> Okay, first up, we have to do the elytra. Then we have a lot of books over here that we can go through. And wow, that was all of my levels. And I kind of can't really do anything else. At the very least, I can now fall a little bit further and my boots won't break. Same with the elytra. Elytra will not break anymore. And we have a strong diamond sword. And now I just turned all of my ender pearls into eyes of ender. Now I have 14, definitely more than enough to go down here back into the fun room room hey what's up boys wow i actually really need to light this place up what's up xp yes heal all of my stuff yes more xp so you're not too shabby wow i could have used you like 50 days ago no no it's okay you don't need to shoot me no no it's totally fine what's up boys what's up oh my god light up the place no 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 oh and I escaped. Oh my god, I'm amazing. Oh, I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh, man, that was a close one. So due to how close we are to day 100, I actually just have to bring everything with me now to the end. I, I won't be able to come back. How long have I had 10 bottles of enchanting? Or as I like to call it, bottles of heal my elytra and boots. Wow, that did nothing. <laughs> All right, uh, it's not much. I honestly thought I had a lot more arrows, but here's everything that I could be taking to the end. I'm coming. Alrighty, boys, if there's anyone left in here, gotta be fast or else you're never gonna be able to spawn in again. Alrighty, so in the chest, actually not the worst stuff yet. Nice, I like seeing that. Nice. Oh my gosh, is that, that's netherite? There's a netherite sword and it's honestly kind of like a lot worse than mine. <laughs> Man, I could have been enchanting that this entire time. Ooh. Alrighty, regardless. Hey, would you look at that? I have enough of these to complete the portal. <sighs> Alrighty, let's do this. Whoop! Hey! And would you look at that? Wow, I can actually fly around and take on the dragon. Put that right there. Then break you. Okay, so we're just gonna snipe out every single one of the crystals from up here. If I could snipe. We then have to fly down to all of these. Ah, uh, would you look at that? Every single crystal is gone, and then now we just have to go machine gun mode. No, I can beat you down here. Yes, yes, don't fly away. Don't fly away. Or fly away, I guess. I really wish I could just catch the dragon on fire. I think that'd make it a lot more interesting. Seeing a flying turd just come right at you. Whee! 
Come here, come here, come here, come here. Boop, 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 boop. With a little bit of a beep. A chew. Bless you. Bada boop. Please just come to the fountain. We can talk, please. Think of the children. They miss you. Please, it's not me, it's you. I hope she did not like that one. Don't go anywhere, please. Thank you. Woo! Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, everything is fully healed. Oh, look at all of that XP. Oh my gosh, I can actually enchant my stuff to the way that I want it. Oh, this is amazing. And we're gonna get the dragon egg. What a good day. Boop. Thank you. All right, Enderman, don't worry. If people want it enough, I'll be back in 200 days and I'll make you guys a farm. Literally, like, I'll make you into a farm. Boop. Ah, what a beautiful day. 100. So since we actually have the XP to do it, let's give that a sweeping edge. Oh, yeah, some mending, better looting. And then we combine all of you. And there we go. So Emba basically has better stats than the uh, diamond sword that I literally just made and wasted a lot of XP on. So that's cool. And then for the dragon egg, we actually have to be really... Actually, no, no, we're not even going to place it. I don't trust myself. <laughs> But now, since we do have some XP, let's reroll the shovel and we can, oh, um, yeah, I'm honestly good. I don't really just want Flint for the rest of my life. So yeah. Wow. Okay. You really want me to have fortune three. Okay. Well, uh, shovel's cursed. Never going to get anything better. Oh, well, hello, beautiful. Okay. I'm going to try one more time with the shovel. I'll take that actually. And there we have it. I survived 100 days on a toilet. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the movie. And if you guys want it enough, I'll see you in 200 days. Actually, no, no, I don't mean like that. Like, I, I don't mean like actually in 200 days. I mean like, you know, the, 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 the 200 days movie, you know, like after 100 days, like it'll be like a second movie, you know?